Welcome into the Cam and Strick Podcast, episode number 189, presented by Hair Club for Everybody, Boys and Girls, and uh, Men and Women. Men and Women, Boys and Girls, usually for Men and Women. But 189, man. 89. Dude, there is something in my throat today. You look tan, too. It's the allergies. Why do you look tan? I've been outside a lot. Doing what? Well, I like to hang out outside. Um, I walk the dog. Blaze, you know, needs to be walked a couple times a day. Um, and uh, baseball games. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I correct you on something? Yeah. You know, you know the, the, the umpires take a beating. Okay. The umpires, we saw Clay uh-huh. Travis post a fucking long clip of him mm-hmm. chirping this poor umpire. He gets like a million views. They take a beating. They don't get paid that much. Mm-hmm. And then I saw that Ty hit one right down the third baseline. Yeah. It was it was fair. Yeah, it was fair. But you decided to take that clip and uh-huh. post it and uh-huh. say foul ball question mark. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, why? Why? Hey, hey, can I? Just, can why I, would you do that? Can I tell you something here? Because this Fucking is how it goes down. Goes, Here's how it goes down at six under. Six U mm-hmm. baseball. Now there are no umpires, so it's like. The opposing coach, he's the one who oh, said, foul ball. Okay. Okay? That's a different story. I didn't know that. Oh, there's no umpires. Oh. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, dude, all of a sudden the opposing coach who's standing there like, you know, outside their dugout or whatever, like near the third base. He called it foul. He's like, foul ball. Because we call our own foul balls, right? And it's so ten feet over, ten feet on the other side. So of the our line. coach was like, "Really, foul ball? Okay, come on back and do it again." And I'm like, "I, I watched it live, and I'm like, I'll have to check the video. Maybe <laughs> I couldn't really tell from my angle, and I see the video, and my eyes don't deceive me. And I, I thought it was a fair ball, and it proved to be a fair ball. And this other coach is calling foul ball. I thought it was an umpire. No, I, so okay, I, I stand corrected on that. Fuck the coach. Yeah, if it was a young kid umpire and you're doing, I would never do that. At you. I wouldn't do that. Good. That's all good. Because, you know, they're going to make mistakes and whatever. Yeah. You know. I told you, the old man, though, like, Chloe had a call a few weeks ago. She got knocked down in the box. Should have been a PK. No call on that I one. I saw that video, too. Yeah, yeah. She got rocked there, dude. And that- so, at that age, with those with those referees, they're on the field. They shouldn't miss that. She got rocked. Yeah, she did. That She got popped back up. Right back up. Way faster than you popped up when you got rocked by Bobby mm. or by me or by Chaser. Yeah, yeah. Well, you I, didn't pop I, up. You got fucking rocked. Oh, so my uh, hip fl- uh, flexor is burning today. If you're wondering why I'm walking with a little bit of a limp, it's because I skated yesterday and I... and I. Well, with Tim Peel? Yeah, it felt great yesterday. I felt what, great. What, would you skate? Is PLZ, who's right? like trending. Oh, in... my God, PLZ. PLZ. <laughs> okay, PLZ is all over Twitter. This is what happens when you... Just like all of a sudden, learn of social media. He's like a Twitter hell. In, in in your mid fifties, you're like, wow, this is like crack cocaine. I'm addicted. Uh, he is. <laughs> He's snorting Twitter like He's no other dude. Twitter. He's putting Twitter up his nose. Yeah, dude. he is, man. He's taking fucking gangsta lines He's off like, of Twitter. Man, this is the best drug he's ever had. Karma. I would have spelled karma with a C, so good thing he spelled it with a K. Mm-hmm. But he deleted that tweet. That's why I don't like when you delete tweets unless yeah. you're wrong. Right. But he took, it's like stand your ground on that. I like it because I live vicariously through his tweets sometimes because he'll call people out and yeah. I'm not going to do that. Here, Here's my yourself. take though on certain things in social media, not even, you know, referring to, to Tim Peel and whatever. You, we you love know, him. You, you just don't, you don't want to be hated either you don't want the players to hate you you don't want teams is. to hate you you don't want the league to hate you yep. so it's one thing to be outspoken but be outspoken in an entertaining way maybe in a funny way you know like break stories if you have breaking news and whatever that'll get you attention but to be outspoken where you know you're going to piss people off and make people angry that's not fun to kind of be that guy not, where people, like, don't like you and whatever, you know? I don't want people not to like me. Now, if you piss off the fucking, and you always know, you can look at their, like, profile, and you could see, so, like, oh, this guy's coming at me. He's very sensitive. Yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. We all know. But I don't want people to hate me, man. I like to say what I need to say. Be honest with yeah. shit. But I don't want, if people don't agree or they don't like my style, fine. But I don't want people to literally hate me because I'm throwing a buzzsaw at them on Twitter. Like, I yeah. don't, don't want to do that. Now, if Peelzy does it, I laugh my goddamn ass off. Right. But I wouldn't want to take a beating like that. I've done enough of that. No. I've been in a hole, yeah. and I, I crawled out of it, and it was very yeah. hard. You want people to, like, be nice. Listen, like, I, I don't like it when people are super aggressive on Twitter. The one thing I've always known, though, you don't want the players to dislike you. That's it. I think a lot of people were probably thinking the same thing. You got Nazem Kadri, who obviously has a history of knocking people out of the playoffs. He's done it two years in a row. He's been suspended several times and whatever. But, you know, some people take karma to mean that like you're almost 
happy that a player is injured or, you know, you don't care that that's a player a shitty got fuck injured. Play. Hey, let me, yeah. let me tell yeah. all y'all something. One of the dirtiest plays in hockey. And that's hockey. not what karma means. Karma means, hey, you get what you get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you, 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 you rob from Peter. Like, Paul may come rob from you yeah. down the road. That's the Peter way. Peter and Paul are both going to rob your fucking ass. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But I'll say this. The worst, most dangerous play in hockey is exactly what Evander Kane did to Nazem Kadri, man. Whether you like Kadri or not, I kind of don't. Worst got play in hockey, It's dude. the worst fuck play in hockey. It has nothing to do with Nazem Kadri for me. Nothing. So, like, that's where... Karma, going back to that, it's like, yeah, I understand. But at the same time, that's a bullshit hit. That's man. a bullshit hit, dude. And there's so many ways that Evander Kane could have played that. Man, you can go pin the guy on there. You can get in better body position. But when a guy's going in and you see his numbers and you don't even hit him, you fucking cross-check him so he's way off balance, three feet away from the boards, going 100 miles man. an hour. That's the scariest play in hockey. It is. And I don't, you I don't like You cannot defend yourself in that situation. You can't, dude. You don't know he's coming. And so there's other ways to play the puck on that. There's other ways to play the body on that particular play. He did the gutless fuck thing, man, mm -hmm. and and Kadri's out. And he got off easy. He got off easy. One game? game, and listen, I know that they multiply games yeah. in the playoffs. Like a one game is really like a two gamer. I, I really thought when you consider that uh, that Colorado's up three games to none, and we're talking maybe just you know one game left in the season for yep. for Edmonton and the potential of them winning a game on home ice and extending the series. They're fucked. To a fifth game. He should have gotten at least two games to either eliminate him from playing in a potential game five, okay, yeah. when you consider Kadri's out. But also, hey, maybe he's got to sit the first game of next season too, man, and let it carry over into next season. Yeah. Like, that's a bullshit hit. That, that's that a is, bullshit hit, that's not a That's not a one-game suspension. No, I'd rather a guy catch a guy coming across the ice mm -hmm. than fucking give him a little tap so he goes – goes f head first into the boards, not knowing, and you're three feet away from it, so you just fuck, and you just crumble, man. He's lucky he didn't get concussion. He's lucky he didn't rip his shoulder out. He's lucky. Well, you don't know what happened to him. I, well, I know. He might have broke his wrist. Yeah, he may have gotten a con concussion, maybe ripped man. his shoulder out. Who knows what oh. happened? Dude, when that happens, man, like, it, everything goes in slow motion. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go 100 miles an hour and you get tripped up, and you're like, oh, my, here it comes. Here it, yeah. ba boom. And you're like, oh, And, uh, and Cadbury's had some of those hits in the past along the wall. Yeah. It's been close, whatever. Even earlier in the playoffs this year, he's hit some guys close to the wall, and the players have just happened to be okay, and they didn't get hurt. But, you know, listen, falling on the goalie, we've seen that for years and years and years. Is it bullshit? You know, I, I guess. But but you're going to the net. You're, it is, but you're yeah. going to the net yeah. hard. And yep. in that situation, even if – it's Nazem Kadri, and you're like, okay, he could have controlled himself, and he purposely, you know, fell on top of the goaltender. You you could you could say, hey, maybe the, the he didn't have control of his body in that situation. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but don't okay. don't hit don't hit anybody. It was MVP uh, caliber. He was playing that. Oh, dude, he's he was playing fucking some playing amazing all. hockey. He's playing really good hockey. You know, man. he caught Justin Falk last year. I mean, I don't ever like to see a player get hurt from that specific play. No, Never. exactly. Yeah, no. yeah. I get you on that. So, I do. Well, but but, but do. fucking, well, you should. Because well, I've been in those situations. Yeah. Well, You've only got rocked by a couple people. Dude, I, I, I took You've some only, hits. No, no, no. You've I only been rocked hits. by a couple people. You've taken a couple big hits. I've taken some big hits, dude. But not in anything competitive. You've well, taken big hits from Bobby, Chaser, and myself. Well, even back. And that is it. In high school, I think I took a couple big hits, too, man. I bet you did. So And that badass league you played in. <laughs> <laughs> Top 10 in scoring. Nah, three years in a row. Show me that. Show me. Go ahead. I want you well, to post you it saw, on. It. No, no, no. I want you to po them. post it on Instagram. Show. I dare you to do that. Post it on it and put like a big like arrow to it. Like, look at me and then show your stats. Well, I want to show it. you. No, no, no. I want you to post it on Instagram. I don't want to post it. <laughs> I'll just show you. You'll get rocked. <laughs> You'll get rocked. I told if you. you do. I want people to be nice to me on Instagram want, and Twitter. Yeah, I want. And you know what? Now they are. It just used to be because well, you're hanging with me all the time. Well, no. It just used to be like, I don't miss those days. Are people bullshitting you? I don't want to be up. shock jock guy on oh, yeah. Twitter. I'm shock jock guy on the podcast and on the radio, mm -hmm. and that's, I like, I'm you comfortable. You don't do that on social media. I don't do it on social media. I goof off. I'll say fuck or something, mm -hmm. and I'll be goofy. Yeah. But I'm not, here's my opinion. I'm a, I'm looking down upon, I hate, I hate all that. You're going to give me your opinion on there, unless you make me fucking laugh, mm -hmm. or unless you're telling me something dead serious that's like, wow, this really happened or whatever. Yeah. Then I'm like, okay. But man, all this other shit. You guys bore me. I don't give a fuck about your opinion. You see Biz get his head shaved? Yeah, man. Well, Biz is fucking What's awesome. Going on, dude? Well, he's fucking <laughs> awesome, man. Because you know what? Now, he's a diehard, crazy hockey guy, and he's mm -hmm. got it. But he does this for the fans, man. Mm -hmm. Like, he fucking had a bet, 
and he lost it. And he's like, I'm going to shave my who, goddamn... Who was he betting with? The, I think the like Oilers fan, fan or something? So, yeah, like... Like saying if something happened, he'll shave yeah, his head. If so they what, lose what or win. the bet? I don't know. I don't know. But he lives up to his word. He's such a cool character. Him and Tak, man, I, I, just, I love them both. Yeah. Greta looks like he's annoyed. Look, he, no, he looks like he's being annoyed. He a looks like bit. he's motherfucking... No, no. He looks like he's annoyed. Who's annoying him? <laughs> <laughs> you, the bald head. <laughs> I'm pissed. Fuck, is he funny, though, man? I don't know. Uh, Those then, guys are uh, up there bardying, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then Ace, man. Ace is just along hey, for the ride, man. Ace here. <laughs> Ace is getting a lot of attention, dude, because of all these other dudes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No doubt. I mean, they're bringing a lot of attention to Ace. To Ace? You think the players know, like, who they're talking to when they say, like, no. hey, it's Ace. <laughs> oh, hi, Ace. How are you? <laughs> no, they don't. Listen, no, if don't. you're a player yeah. and you have a nickname, do you think you have to have a nickname given to you while you're playing for it to all of a sudden carry over into your post career? Hell yeah. <laughs> like, can you just all of a sudden come up with a nickname? Hmm, I'm after ace you? now. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. If you're not ace when you played, you ain't ace now. Really? Homie. It doesn't work Hell like no. that? No. Okay, because no, that's no, no, what no, I'm no, asking. No. Yeah, and I just told you. Okay. No. Ace. It doesn't work now. Hey, how ace about, is pretty good. The other how day. about the uh, Oiler fans, though? Like, they were, I've never seen. A fan base so happy after a loss to go down three games to none. Like on that TNT post game show, dude, they are celebrating in the background like they just won. You would have thought they were up three games to none. Literally celebrating, Cam. Well, they're happy they're there. They're happy they get to see their big boy cruising around 100 miles an hour. He can only do so much. He's got That's five right. guys hanging off, yeah. uh, hanging off. Dry Sidle, like sometimes he just looks disengaged. Dude, he's hurt. I know. He got hurt and his ankles fucked up. Oh, he leaves. He he's comes back. laboring, dude. Well, then there it is. Man. He's okay. laboring. He's giving it his all, and he's still putting up points. I know he is, but he looks a half step behind, and he looks like he's hesitant going in the car. Fine, he's hurt, but I'm just letting you know what I see. he's got that high ankle sprain, dude, like fucked. a bad one. I know. He can't turn on one side. No. So, like, and it's got to be his left ankle. I could be wrong about that, but when I'm watching him and diagnosing him, Cam, because uh, I have a... Uh, Good a feel what? for a this. What? I think I did this once, uh, high ankle sprain. It's a very serious injury. You ever had one of those? Yeah, man. Well, I mean, I'm pretty... It's hard to play with. Most guys wouldn't resilient. be able to play with that. I said this prior to the series, though. If Edmonton was going to win, they needed McDavid to absolutely carry them to victory. Okay? Like, not a shocking statement by yeah. any means. But for Colorado to win... And they don't have to have McKinnon and McCarr do everything and no. do all the damage for them to win. They're a deeper team. That depth is showing. We talked about this a few weeks ago, that it's not always the top players who just, you know, advance you in the Stanley Cup playoffs. You better have a complete roster, and sometimes it's the unsung heroes that well, carry you the way. Like Darnell Nurse is having a tough time he dealing is. with stuff. He is. I don't know if he's banged up, but he's just coughing pucks up. He's like... Uh, he deflected that one on Mike Smith. Yeah, Mike Smith, that's like, like, yeah. Could he not have saved that? He, like, jumped up and down. Mike Smith. He's goofy, dude. He plays so goofy. He does. He's too goofy. <laughs> Like, like, I know he makes a lot of big saves, but it's just no, like... No, but he's out of position all the time. He's just time. jumping around all over the like, place. Like, Marty was like that in a way, but he was controlled mm -hmm. crazy, like, a acrobatic. Like, I'll make a, I'll make up a, a you know, scorpion save yeah. in mid, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like, and it's like, okay, you're still there. Like, you're never... He's never all over the fuck place. Mm -hmm. Where Smith, like, ah, and looking at him, like, he just looks... It just looks like looks every crazy. save is, like... The hardest a, save in the world. He's in desperation mode. Yeah. Every save is the hardest save in the world. Every save. God. <laughs> Jesus, don't, calm down. A calm little bit. down, <laughs> Smitty. And then you'll let in a fucking 90-footer. <laughs> you'll let in, like, a, like oh literally a 90-footer. it's like, I didn't see it, but, like, it's never happened Jesus. to anybody else. Where they score from the opposing goal line. Or, uh, oh, boy, though, France, who? No, Fran Dude, you Frank. Dude, Frank who? Frankie. Frankie. Frankie let in a fucking bad one, too. Was it Frankie the other day? No, no. No, 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 no. I'm getting the games confused now. Tampa... No, it was, uh, maybe it was uh, Shazerskin. Igor. Igor is better. That's the chant that they have. I know. I know. And you know what? That's they a were, fucking they badass They were chanting now. that, and then uh, Tampa Bay came down yeah. and scored shortly thereafter. To, going back to game two, they were chanting that towards the end of the game, and Tampa Bay scored, I think, to make it a one-goal game or whatever. Listen, um, I love this New York Rangers team. Dude. I, I do, too. I can watch this team play God. all day long. Damn. I love yep. the Kucherov on, on the Cooch. 
on uh, I like Cage on on Tampa Bay. Yeah, I can watch this guy play all day long too. I can watch Stamkos take one timers. Yeah, man. I can watch Vasilevsky play goal. I can watch Shesterkin play goal. Shesterkin. I can watch this Chris Kreider. Oh, best wait. celebration by the way, best celly by far in the game. He gets so excited. He's like he's like Ovechkin when he scores. Yeah, but dude. it's like emotional. It's not like real emotion. It's, it's cool. He's yeah. so fast, dude. And th- so fast. It is. It's a and this uh, this Panera and Zabanaja. Not to cut you off, dude. Those, yeah, are, those that three headed monster, man. There's that Zabanaja. That dude. It's all over the man. No look passes. Like just it's one timer. It's one timer. He skates by everybody. He's just fast. Like they, God, they are fucking young. They're big. They're tough. They got Truba. You got Reaver doing his thing. Although I don't. Is he doing anything? Who Reaver? Reaver. Is he doing anything? Is he? I know he's like laughing the whole time. He's like it's laughing. like a joke. He, he's he's. But you know what, Cam? I will he's, say he's, this. Just, I don't know. Like wh- who knows what he's doing behind the scenes? Uh, yeah. How vocal he is on the bench? Oh, I could only imagine getting guys, you know, amped up to go out there and play. Like you know, like I don't know. There's pro- there's probably something to be said for his presence out there. Yeah, I, I was supposed to go to the game actually. Um, yesterday. Which, which game? Tampa game. Oh, you were supposed to go. Yeah. And why didn't you go? Well, I had to do a, a thing for. Okay, hold on. Who, uh, auto. Who, who were you going to go with? Mikey. Oh, he went down to the game. Yeah, he he called Coop, got a box. Really? And he's like, "Let's go. Bring Kate. We'll fly private. Get down there. Watch the game. Get in a plane. Fly, fly back." But I had to do radio Sunday for oh. a big auto. Yeah, convention. that would have been fun, man. It's a great place to see a game. I ain't. Can I be honest? Yeah. I'm not flying down for a game and flying back. Yeah. I don't give a damn. Well, if with it's the most your prime, vertigo, dude, I'm I can't, not, you can't do it. It's too long of a goddamn day. I'm not that big of a hockey fan, mm-hmm. to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. The Blues aren't even fucking playing. Right. So it's like, I love Patty. I love Cooper. I want to hang out with them afterwards or something. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going down there, seeing the game. And just leaving. And then leaving and getting home. And what I'm gonna fucked get like up. A foam finger, like the number one finger. Yeah, like, hi, <laughs> I'm here. I will. Wave ra- it around. I, I, and, you know, I love my buddy, but. Mm-hmm. I just, I would have gone, but it's yeah. not like ideal. I'd rather go down there That's and stay for three days. That's a heavy payday just to spend to go down and watch a random well, game. When you have a I sh- get it. I get it. It doesn't matter. I get it. doesn't I get matter. It. I'm, I'm not just saying, like, it. you know, like, I'd rather go down to, like, you know, go I hang out stay and, there. like, uh, I don't know, go to, sk- go go no, to like, somewhere else in Florida and go hang out for the night and I mean. come back. How about we go watch a game and then fucking get to the beach for three days right. and then fly the fuck back? Right. And then I'm like, yeah, let's go. I'll take off work. Yeah. But, like, that's a long Sunday, homie. You got to be a diehard for that. I'm not a diehard. Yeah, I'd yeah. rather watch it in my lovely house yeah. with the puppies laying on me. That's what I want to do. You know, it's interesting because, like, the first two games, we don't see Vasilevsky look normal, look human like yeah. he did. You know, Heaven didn't look very good in the first couple of games. He looked either, slow. Man. He looked good in game three, though, man. Yeah, he did. But he looked slow at the beginning. Mm-hmm. How are those guys not tired, though? Like, seriously. I don't know. How you haven't are. done... You cannot relax in the summer when you fucking win. Mm-hmm. You can't relax. You just go, 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 go. You yeah. can't train as properly. You can't do anything. You're more susceptible to get injured. Yeah. Your mind's not in it. You're you're stretching. You're all that shit that you pile up and you 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 do so much working out throughout yeah. the summer to where you're ready to rock whenever uh, the season comes around. These guys haven't got to do that. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, and they still got yoink, and they still got. Thank you, sir. Um, they still got some energy. I don't know how they're fucking running on fumes. They probably are. But eventually, man, like, you can only win so much. Yeah, but, you know, I'll be curious to see how New York responds and rebounds after losing that game because now you give Tampa Bay life. At the end of the day, they are the lightning. Like, is this going to make the Rangers nervous, man? Are they going to be able well, to? Fucking a it you know, is. they don't want to go 2-2, obviously. You know, you'd love to come back 3-1 and have a chance to close it out. On home ice. The longer the series goes, I give that advantage to Tampa Bay. I will say this, man. And I played in that building so many times. Just being in the playoffs, playing against the Rangers in that fucking building is unbelievable, man. Like, it's just cool. Like, God, look around. Like, you have beautiful women. You got goddamn superstars. They're not looking at you. They're not, they, they don't even know you're there. Hello, bugger. I was doing I my thing. I talked to Jason Spezza the other day, by the way, who uh, he's not ready to do media. Like, the, the Toronto people, they don't do... like. This is what happens when you play in Toronto. Dude, you just get like, <laughs> it's like you need a break. Yeah, it's like, that's how they refer to it. I'm not doing media right now. It's like, they, they just, well, media they is like a hassle. It's a hassle. And now he's going to work with the team and whatever. But uh, he doesn't even remember you, dude. Oh, really? Yeah. He's like, I don't remember playing with, with Cam. I know, it's so weird. Fuck his ass then. Yeah, he didn't remember you. No way. Yeah. So I was like, dude, Cam- I played against I'm like him. Cam Jansen. And with him. Yeah, I'm like Cam Jansen, your former teammate in Windsor. And I like would love to get you on. And he's just like, I'm not doing media right now. He's like, I don't remember playing with oh, Cam. I know. Yeah, fuck him then. Are you that's unbelievable? I don't so get can, that. We may need is to, he concussed? We may need to double check this that you actually play with him. 
I mean, I think I did in Windsor. Well, wouldn't you know it? Dude, you had, like, stories. You're like, oh, he was the most popular player he in was. junior. He and, like, was. signed and a million bucks. you didn't bucks. even play with him. Yes, I did. You did play with yes, him? Yes, I he played with him. He doesn't remember you. What an asshole. I know, man. And I was loud and obnoxious in the locker room. Well, apparently you weren't loud enough. Yeah, it didn't stick with him. Go fuck yourself. I'm kidding. You. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, he didn't remember me? I'm like... Go fuck yourself. He says hello, though. Okay. But we, we will say, Jason Spezza, congrats on him. Yeah. We did this last time, too, but it's all good, man. I don't blame him I, for, I, like, just wanting to lay low I and don't just blame chill him. out. He was such a nice Apparently guy. Apparently, they don't let their players, like, talk to anybody. Fuck that organization. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> oh, that's what you... No, I'm just like, no, I'm. Just, they're just so goddamn goofy. You might delete this out, because I don't, but I'm just saying, like, that whole organization is just like, I don't know. I don't know. I love the fans. They're fun to watch. We and like Shanny. I like Shanahan, man. But I, it's just like, it's just a, I can't explain what it is, but it if is you know what like, I'm talking listen, about, they, you know what I'm talking about. They put themselves on such a, I don't know, a self-created pedestal. Yes, exactly. That doesn't equate to like success on the ice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so it's like, I don't know, man, maybe that's part of the problem. And I don't want to like go too far with this, but this is my take. I think that they coddle their players too much. They go out of the way to protect the players too much that they make the players in their mind truly feel like they're having success and Good that point. they're successful yeah. because they get so much attention and they're so protected and they're so coddled and they're treated so well. Yep. But then at the end of the day, they're paid to play hockey and to perform and to on win. the ice and to win. And, and you're not winning. Not winning, man. You're winning every year, and everybody talks about you all year long. You're beating teams, scoring eight goals a game. You're doing this, and then you fucking lose, yeah. and you just collapse. And yeah. it's like I can't take it and seriously. And it's like we are not allowing you to talk to anybody. Mm. Well, maybe they do need. Maybe to they like. need to fucking say some shit. <laughs> maybe you open some eyes up, because yeah. it ain't working. You're sexy, but you ain't sexy enough when it when push comes to shove. The other hot chick always comes, and you wheel at her instead. You wouldn't know anything about that. that. You wouldn't know anything. Well, about I know a lot about that. That Nylander's got nice hair, though, man. I'll tell you that. God. Got a nice haircut. I'm not even going to be a dick. <laughs> I'm not going to do it today. I'm He's a good movie. player. He's a good player. Would you rather have He's him or Hyman? Pussy. We talked about that. Listen, Hyman. He Hyman's fucking good. Gets to the dirty area. He just makes fucking shit happen, dude. Like, literally. And he's in the way, and he blocks shots. He doesn't player. flamingo. He doesn't dance around hits. He just takes it. Yeah. Nylander kind of tiptoes around. Is mm-hmm. the water warm? Is the water warm? No, yeah. no, no. Go fucking get. Go do something. Yeah. Get in there, homie. A little hey. more hooking and clutching at you. A little more physicality. You're mm-hmm. like, whoa, whoa, what's this? I thought you weren't supposed to back check that hard in the yeah. regular season. Yeah. Now well, it's the playoffs now, homie. Hey, this situation with David Perron is going to be interesting here in St. Louis. And he knows he won't get seven, and he's not going to ask for anything close to seven. But, you know, he's 34, man. I, I, I will say this about David Perron. Two years, 10 million? No, I think it's going to take more than that. 12 mil? Because uh, I, I, I'll say this about David. You look at other players around his age. Like, he's outperforming all these guys, dude. I mean, there's some obvious ones, but you can look at, like, TJ Oshie. You can look oh, at yeah. even Patrick Reddy. Patrick Reddy didn't play a whole lot of games this year. Um, Jamie Ben. Oh, God, he fell off pretty hard. Eh? You know? Um, I mean, there's a bunch of guys around the league, you know, who were kind of drafted around the same time that he was in that mid-30 range. And you won't find any, or too many at least, that are outperforming David Perron right now. So, yeah, I know. listen, he's probably going to want somewhere, in my opinion, I'm guessing probably in that five to six million dollar range, probably five and a half, five seven five. He'd love to get a three year deal, but maybe would consider a two year deal. I would guess, assuming that the AAV comes up a little bit, obviously on a shorter term deal. But listen, he's going to have some interest around the league too, man. I mean, you just look at a player like that who comes to St. Louis and whatever, and you just assume, hey, man, this guy is such a true blue, like he's not going to go anywhere. But then if you're the Blues and you're like, hey, man, we need to work in guys like Jake Neighbors. we got to work in Zachary Bolduke. Yep. There may be other players who may be younger that could be available in free agency that the team is identifying as guys that they want to bring in. Yep. You, you just don't know, man. I mean, that, that's the hard thing. When a player is performing at a high level in his mid thirties, I, I think there's there's a risk probably that comes into play when you're a team yeah. about what do you give a player in his mid thirties 
I, can you just assume that that type of production is, is going to continue? And he's not the fastest, quickest guy, but he just gets things done. He's good in the corners. He's got a big And butt. he's become a playoff player now. Yeah, and he, he's got a great one-timer. Everything he shoots, man, is mm-hmm. always something. Like, it either goes in or it's a scramble from the net. Like, he's, he's, he's nifty, man. He's, yeah. like, he, he's just different. He's a different kind of player. He's, he's molded into this. Just like kind of like I, I could just do things. I, I get the puck and I hold on to it. Yeah, it doesn't fall anymore like he used to do. No. Remember that? When oh, he used yeah. to that fucking yeah. fall. Hold on and fall and then be the last one you up. Can't the ice. knock him off the puck. Now you can't knock him off the puck and he takes it to the net. Every I don't know. And he makes good. plays. He's become a power play specialist. I think I was looking it up the other day. I don't have the numbers in front of me. I I, I want to say in the last five years in power play points per sixty, he's like second in the league really? over the course of the last five years. In power play points per sixty. Second in the NHL, like above all the big dogs, dude, over the course of the last five years. Like, there's something to be said for that. So, it's got a good listen, release, man. Like, I look at a team like Nashville, if they don't bring back that Philip Forsberg, you know, would they go Philippe. after a guy like Philippe? Would they go after a guy like David Prong? I don't know. It's a, he, he's a hell of a hockey player, man. This guy has developed into a really, really good player. Forsberg? He too, but David oh, Prong. Yeah, yeah. So, no, we're just talking you about know, that. so I mean, it's, uh, this is going to be an inter- interesting one to pay attention to. I got to give a shout out to Chris Weidman signs a two year yes. contract extension. Yeah, good for you, buddy, man. We love you, man. St. Louis kid went through ups and downs, went through bullshit. Had to go to fucking Russia. Ugh. Then had to get got caught in a goddamn Uber thing. Mm-hmm. Got embarrassed. Had to crawl out of a hole. Yeah, hey, I'm telling you about crawling out of holes, man. It ain't easy. Mm-hmm. And he fucking did it. Now he's in Montreal with that sick flow, doing shit. One tees from the point. Good for you, Weids, man. Yeah. We love you, man. Yeah. For sure, man. St. Louis through and through, baby. What's up? <laughs> Big shout out. Uh, Vladimir Tarasenko. Now, can we get him on? We're going to get him on. But Live. Yeah, we just got to wait a little bit. Let okay. The, let the, let I the, got the, you. Let the dust settle after the season. I got you, homie. You know what I'm saying? But I want him live, for yeah, sure. We're going to get him on. Uh, Let's get his ass. Dude, he comes out and skates with the kids. Oh, I know. I know, man. I Great. like I like Vladdy a lot. And, you know, the kids obviously loved it when he was out there. You know, this will be uh, interesting with him. I thought Doug, Arm- uh, Doug Armstrong, in terms of how he handled the press conference, I thought he handled it perfectly. I thought he was great. Okay. Because, listen, Doug Armstrong is so experienced. He knows not only what to say, but he knows what not to say. Yeah, and he's a step ahead of everybody's <laughs> question. So He is. He is. So, listen, even though he said, you know, he expects everybody back, we all know things can certainly change. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and predict that they will, but who knows? You never know how things could play out because it always comes down to it's not about like Vladimir Tarasenko today, how great of a season he had. It all comes down to his next contract. Yeah, for man. me, that's what it's all about. So, what does he want for his next contract? What does he think he can get? And are the Blues in position or are they willing to give Tarasenko what he's going to be looking for? And then you look at it and you say, wow, he just had a career season. He had 82 points. Is now the time to move him? He's going into a contract year. Do you wait to move him? What, how, how do you want to play this out if you don't think that he comes in, you know, he falls into the cards moving forward beyond his current deal? So to, to say that it's 100% certainty that he'll be here next season, and I'm not even talking about what took place last summer. I'm just being realistic in terms of yeah. moving forward and looking ahead to that next deal. You, you can never predict what could happen with Vladimir Tarasenko this offseason. I think everything's on the table. Yeah, man. He did his thing, dude. He went through, again, ups and downs, fucking surgery out the wazoo, and he figured it out. He figured it out, and he was he was a, a force to be reckoned with, man, this year. What so, you, What are you reading there, Chief? Power play since 1997-98, right? What do you have here? Oh, last five years, David Perron. Third in, the, in goals and power play? In power play points per 60 behind Kucherov and McDavid. Coochie. Ahead of Crosby, Stamkos, Dryzyl, oh, Malkin. Oh, dang D-dog. Dang D-dog. That's a lot of <laughs> so, big dogs in that. Dude, I, I, look, I looked that up the other day, man. So this, this guy is, whoever gets him, whether he comes back to St. Louis or he goes somewhere else, David, Pr- I truly believe he can still play at the level that he showed this past season yeah. for two more years. I hear you. He's a hockey lifer. You know what I'm saying? Well, can these fucking series just... Go to seven. Can Oilers, can you do something? Seven. Go to seven. That ain't happening. I, well, I'm just saying. I want to see hockey, man. I want to see. I want these games to be drawn out long. Let's go. I want to I see as mu- many games as possible. I hope they make something out of this because Colorado's just going to be sitting around waiting. Because you know Tampa's going to come back in this series, and it's going to be hardcore. They're going to be banging the fuck up. Yeah. And Colorado's like, come on. You just a Tampa Bay team is not losing not lo- four or five. No, they're not. You know? They're just not. So it's going to have to get to six. 
But that's why, I, I, like I said, the longer this goes, uh, advantage obviously to Tampa Bay Lightning because of their confidence and their history and, and yeah, just dude. just they their just winning experience, it. man. They, they got it, man. They, they figured. It. Although, like they, like New York kind of won that game too. Like they, Cooch took a stupid penalty at the end of that game, and they called. Uh, it's like a four minute power play, and they killed it off. Yeah, he did Cucci. take a penalty there, but then he made a hell of a play on that game winning goal. Yes, so. that sick pass. Yep, 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 yep. God, and they're fun to watch, man. These games have been great. Except for the blowouts, I know this Edmonton thing. You got to do something here. You got to figure it out. You got to try to stop these guys, man. They're kicking your ass up and down the ice. Mm-hmm. Do something here. Yeah, hey, somebody in the third line or people something. People got mad. And listen, I I got to apologize to the fans in Edmonton because they they sometimes listen. I, I I hear from the Edmonton fans. I got a long history with the Edmonton fans, by the way, going back to like Pronger. Well, and when you played stuff. there, <laughs> like they got really mad. Yeah, uh, years ago, but. I said something like, hey, the Blues would have beaten Edmonton in five. I said know? that. <laughs> I was like, you know. On Twitter, you said it? I said yeah, it. It's different. Twitter. I know. I know. You but can say it all you want I here. Know. You'll get a couple chirps. And, yeah, and yeah. you know, some people didn't didn't like that. But I, I, they would have. I think Colorado and St. Louis would have beat them. were the two best teams in the yeah. Western Conference. I don't think it's. Andy, that's not and, a and you even you even look at, you know, how the series is going right now. I mean, the Blues had to play Minnesota. In the Minnesota would have beaten Edmonton, I too. I think you're right on that. You know, with a flurry and all, I don't know. Like, oh. I don't think you're gonna beat them. That little Russian floating little Russian around, Kip- cruising around. Jesus, Kiprizov, Kip- ten and two, and everybody, Kaprizov, Kaprizov. I know. I call him Kaprizov. <laughs> I've done that. I think I did that on a Kaprizov. I did. That, I did that on yeah. a. Um, I don't know some big show, and I fucked that up. It's all good. Yeah, but yeah, like, um, yeah, you're right, though, Andy, with your tweet. The Blues would have beat fucking Hamilton, dude. And really I think they know. Mike it. Smith. I think they know it. And you might score on Mike Smith once in a while. Well, he's like jumping around he's like, a, like a fish out of water. Just shoot, shoot it at him. He'll get out of the way. <laughs> he's just like crazy. What's wrong with he's that? like crazy in there. Like Smitty, What's calm down. Him? Like breathe. Homie. Every shot is like a just. It's an adventure. It's like it he, is. He's it's in like chaos mode. <laughs> fucking he's God. Desperately making the same. And that's like not healthy for like the defenseman in front of you and shit. Mm-hmm. When your goalie's fucking flopping everywhere, you're yeah. like God. Like get it out. Get it. Yeah. Out. Now you're in panic mode. It just all kind of like coexists, man. Your attitude with your goal is your attitude with everybody hey, else in front of my you. My neighbor um, invited me to come to India with his family. Now, would you go? <laughs> Fuck no. 28 hours on the flight. Andy, no. Go to India. No. I hear, sh- and piss no, out of my ass no, for fucking you, 15 Why would weeks. that happen? Go over there and drink something and eat shit and to see what how you your mean? stomach feels. I'm like, just saying. Like Montezuma Revenge? Ah. That's like in Mexico. No, no, no. Like, I don't think that happens in India. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Go to New Delhi and just walk around. You'll be in panic mode like Mike Smith. Billion people cruising around. (laughs) Desperation. Go on a train in India. You'll be sitting on top. What do you mean? You mean, what do I mean? It's overpopulated as shit. Yeah. They, 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 they're trained. And they let everybody get on the train? Man, look shit up, dude. Uh, How about you expand your fucking mind? I would not like that. It's horrible. They have one of the nastiest rivers ever in India. It's called the Ganges River. Where the tigers are hanging? Yeah. Homeboy. People are like wait, tigers wait, 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 wait. just like cruising around the Not even just tigers. Mm. You got fucking tigers that swim and you have 25 foot crocs waiting for you. So they'll grab you and then a tiger will try to grab you and they'll have a fight to okay. kill you. Dude, I watched this video. I've got I've got serious like uh I've had like it's been tough, you know, sleeping and stuff like that since I watched this. This grizzly bear attacks this baby moose. Did you see it? Okay, hold on. The mom moose yeah, I saw that, was man. with the two baby moose. The, the grizzly just creeping. This is in Montana. Mm-hmm. And gets the baby moose in the mouth. You hear the baby moose, like, squeal. Oh, it oh. was terrible. Yeah, but that's... Hold on. Then yeah. the mom moose chases the bear away. I saw that. That was a baby little bear. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It's pretty big. It was a grizzly. No, it wasn't. No, it, wasn't. it was a grizzly, but it was a baby grizzly. It chased a baby grizzly. That ba- that grizzly was tiny compared to that moose, dude. No, it wasn't. You gotta get your goddamn you facts straight. You're not dude. watching the same thing. So what I'm asking you, could people were standing up and filming it, and it, it drew, it yeah. went by. Like, yeah, I saw could the you, damn could thing. Could a moose handle a grizzly? No, no chance. Huh? No, man. No, no, no. That was a cub. That's why I was freaked out. I that don't think c- it was. You don't know shit. Although it was running like a, it was running away like a baby. The baby is whimpering. The grizzlies ain't doing that. They're not doing that. So I so, get that. So no moose. chance that the grizzly, the moose, could handle the. No, grizzly. what's the moose gonna do to you? I don't know, man. What's it going to do? Well, you know, bite you? With the horns and stuff like and that? And it's not going to fucking do anything to a grizzly bear. Right you can shoot eye. a grizzly bear in the fucking head with a 44. It won't do anything? They'll still 
go ahead. Try to shoot a grizzly bear and see what it does. He'll I laugh at you. I don't do all that. Dude, they're, they're protect, dude, their Although, skulls are thicker than your whole body. I will say this. If I ever go back to Tahoe or whatever, um, when next time I'm hiking in the mountains where the bears are prevalent, I would like to have somebody else be with me who's armed, okay, just to handle that situation oh, shit. for me. No shit, Because when I, when I had to make contact with that bear, dude, and it was like 15 feet away, uh, among the most uh, scariest situations I've ever experienced in my life. Family. And I know you it's a sensitive topic kids. right now because of these, you know, I know. these tragedies. Well, what that stops are that? I don't know. We don't need to. Well, what, what stops it? What stopped it? Well, what stopped it? You need some law enforcement there. Yeah. Some, but what stopped it? Guns. A guy with a fucking gun yeah. killed a dude. Well, the Actually, it was a border patrol who was getting a goddamn haircut. He borrowed a gun from the guy at, the, at, the, at the, his haircut place, goes in there, really? saves two kids, runs back out, while actually the police he were arresting... a gun? The, yes, from his from the guy at the barbershop, because he heard about it. Mm-hmm. His wife was working there. He goes in, saves kids, then goes back in there while the police are sitting there. While the police are sitting there waiting for, what do we do, what do we do? No SWAT team, anything. He goes back in there and kills a border patrol agent. You Badass they were son arresting of him? The, the the police were sitting there on their hands, mm-hmm. and I love the police, man. I'm fucking police, fire, military, through and through. We all know that, but they're sitting on their hands. And, oh, yeah, there's and video parents of are the parents are like, hey, go in and there. And they're arresting the parents for trying to get in there. Yes, it was the craziest. It's fucked up. And there's a fucking people are talking about that, they and are. they're investigating it. Why the well, fuck? Well, they got caught lying, too. They, I know. An hour goes by, and parents are running in there with, oh. without the police. Oh, Dude. Jesus. No, our, we're, we're thinking about it. We love all you guys, there, man. man. We love it. And the police and are in a weird in jam, Texas, too. Yeah. I know. I don't want to I don't want to bash no, police. No, we're not they, getting political here, man. We're no, we're just, not getting... Whatever. If we get political, who gives a shit? We don't give a fuck. Dude, this <laughs> well, is our... This is you our know fun. nothing about politics. <laughs> okay. Andy... You're one-dimensional. Here's the deal. <laughs> but it was a goofy situation, man. And I just, you know, I don't have kids, and I get how sensitive it yeah. is. But if I did have a kid, I would want a police officer armed and ready in every fucking school. Hey. I want a, a Marine that, that wants to do six hours on and have another yeah. guy come in. I, I saw a bunch of the hockey warriors there, actually. Yeah. Because getting My back to Timmy right Peel, he does a great job with this hockey camp, teaching the referees. Yeah. Like, you know, up-and-coming referees. Because in reality, we need referees. And so, you know, PLZ giving back to the community and doing some stuff there, man. We love that. Yeah. A lot of guys out there. Did you see the exercises Yank. they were doing on uh, social media? Did you see, like... I don't follow the, you on social media. No, the, I, I didn't tweet it. Oh. Like, the exercises the referees are doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't keep up with his goddamn Twitter because he, he posts every two seconds. Every, it gives me a concussion. Responds to everybody. <laughs> <It does. laughs> I always, like, like things. Make Thanks, dude. Thanks, homie. Thanks, dude. If but he'll give a if flood. they're talking to you. If they're talking to me, yeah. You may have like two people talking to each other, and PLC's like, I'll be there. I'll be in there. Let me <laughs> jump into this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you guys there. Hey guys. <laughs> Jeez, it's so fun. We love we him, love by him. the way. He's a blast. Yeah. I'm gonna be hanging out with him a lot coming up here. What's coming up? Well, we got auctioned off <laughs> like 50 different oh, goddamn golf, things together. Yeah. So like I feel Oh, you and I are playing golf in a tournament next Monday, but not only that, but we're gonna uh have a practice round this weekend. And you're trying to tell me like who I can bring with me and who I can't bring with me. And stop, stop trying to make the rules. I'll make the rules in terms up. of who I bring out to the course. What do you mean? When we have the practice round at well, my course, your wife invited my wife, so she's coming out. She did already. All right, that's fine. But let them do their own fucking thing. I'm not mm-hmm. waiting. All, listen, to no, me. I got rules, homie. Uh-huh. I don't wait for women. No, I don't. I love all the women. I gotta use your clubs, dude. You're you are a fucking joke. You ain't doing it. <laughs> That's fucking embarrassing. Yeah, I gotta borrow if you your don't clubs. have your own clubs there, you're no, not going. I'm you're not gonna, going. I'm just going to use your you, clubs. Dude, this ain't no fucking rinky-dink bullshit fucking country club. You can't walk in there with no clubs my like an clubs, asshole and be associated with me. I don't want to bring my clubs with me, so... Are they stupid? <laughs> and not to mention, like, again, if we do golf with women, the women folk, mm-hmm. our lovely wives, mm-hmm. I'm not waiting for every ball to be hit. Like, I, I, like they could do their thing. Yeah. I'm like, oh, wait, and then they hit it three feet, and we got to wait for the hit. No, 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 Andy. We'll go ahead. They'll take their time. Yeah. They want to skip a couple holes to keep, keep up, fine. I got rules, Andy. I got you. I don't wait you. for people. Okay, well, I'll be out there. We'll figure and that out. And I'm not waiting for your stupid we'll ass either. And we'll shoot some videos so everybody can check that out on camera. I'm not waiting for you. Like, I'm trying again. And if you go up there and you take your sweet fuck yeah. time. We might have to have... If, uh, you're like, if you're like a pitcher that takes his 45 seconds to throw a pitch, mm-hmm. and you're that... Go- the biggest... And all y'all know, you golfers out there, all y'all, you know who the jackasses are. There's so many different types of jackass golfers, but I particularly don't like the motherfucker that goes up there like, oh, okay. Oh, and 
tosses the, the grass, the grass in the air. Looks. See what the wind My practice is. swing. Practice swing. Uh, uh, duh, duh, duh. Well, bam. Duff, 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 duff. Oh, what ha- let me look. What? what ha- Shut up. Shut up. Pick your stupid ball up. Get in the fucking car. And we're driving. And you drop where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Don't waste my time. You suck like I do. But I don't take my time. You do. You're holding up the line. Yeah. Piss me off. Yeah. If you do that shit, yeah, I'll be pissed. I'm going to borrow your I'll clubs. leave you. I'll borrow, I'm going to borrow your Man, clubs. that's such, like, so who's I'll your ass there Bush next weekend, bullshit. Saturday or Sunday, probably Saturday. And I'll uh, let you know. And um, I'll or let maybe you know. Friday. I might even come Friday. Well, I might not be there. We'll what are you going to do? We'll get a good nine or eight. I might go cruise around with my buddies on their side-by-sides instead. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Seriously. Um, listen, we got to get to Sonny because Sonny's long. And he was great, by the way. We love Oscar Sunquist, who joined us here on the uh, on the pod. Yeah, He joined us live. The Sun Dog. And we get into a number of things, man. He was he was great. I want I want people to be able to get to that. So um, we'll get right to the interview here in just a few minutes, man. With Oscar Sunquist, who's now playing with the Detroit Red Wings, some Sun great Dope. things to say about Stevie Y too. So, well, fuck yeah. How good is Sunquist though? I uh, you, get, he's, him. you love him when he's healthy for sure, man. Yeah, he got banged up pretty yeah. good, but man, he's a workhorse. Always just on, like he's always on you, like annoying the player. Man, this in the lane, like he's long. You do this, he'll hit you. He'll block a shot. He's always on you. You're like, get the fuck off me, like a gnat. Mm-hmm. Like he was just so good in the, the nineteen. But he's playoffs. big. He's, he's big. He's, he's six not, three. You know, he's not, sometimes you talk about like the little guys that are like he's gnats six three. that are all over you. He's a big boy. He gets around, dude. He does. He's not like smooth, smooth, mm-hmm. but he just finds ways to take pucks in the net and just. His He's always in a way. First season as a blue to his second season, he was like the most improved player yeah. in the league. After he got dude. knocked out. Yeah, he just came After back. After he got knocked Had out. Had a great season. The year they won the cup. He got knocked out for a month, didn't he? It was a long time. It was a long time. He yeah. was fucked up. And, yeah. it, and then Tommy he, Wilson. We're like, he's done. Like, he wasn't even there yet, right? Right. Like, he wasn't even, he wasn't even like, a, he was he playing preseason like games. He one goal the previous season. Yeah, he, he wasn't on the radar. And then all of a sudden, he somebody got injured. He comes back after his injury mm-hmm. and never looked back. Right. Never looked back. Yeah. I love that, dude. Yeah. After getting rocked by Willie. Mm. Craig Ruby loves Willie him. Got, uh, Craig surgery. Ruby loves him, too. Well, yeah, I know. But he was banged up, man. And they needed a D-man. Yeah. And Oscar was Listen, hilarious conversation. People are going to like oh, this. Oh, he's awesome. As always, brought to you by Hair Club. Go to our landing page, 800-279-7878, baby. Hairclub.com slash Cam and Strick. That's where you go, Cam. You know that. I know. And, um, man, we love the people that have uh, gone to Hairclub.com and uh, and checked it out and even sent us several messages about their experience, uh, just the communication they've had, signing up for their first consultation, yeah. getting that you know big-time discount that we offer by signing up from our landing page, Hairclub.com slash Cam and Strick. But you talk about restoration, regrowing, replacing, dude. There are so many options in all 1,200-plus locations throughout North America. North America right there, babe. Yeah, man. No, I do it. The hardest part is walking in that goddamn place. Like, it really is. That's the hardest part? Yeah, I think so. Because it's just like, you're just like, oh, I got to walk into a hair place. You got to like, be confident. I'm like, ah, what, what, what? Once you get in there, everybody's like, hi, we all get it. We all get it. Come on in. Mm-hmm. Here, here. What do you need? Have your consultation where they take that little thing and put it in your head. Yeah. And you're like this. Oh, oh. It's oh, like getting a head oh, massage. To sleep? I'm like, keep looking up there. Keep looking. And they'll explain. They'll put this. It's mm-hmm. always a, like, always a yeah. sweet woman yeah. that's just very gentle. Mm-hmm. And, then they, and then they'll just give you options on what you want to do. And then once you go in there and you talk to everybody, you're like, I don't give a fuck. Right. Let's go. Like, I need right. my hair back. Let's get in here. Let's go. I don't give a shit. Everybody knows I'm losing my hair. We're all in this together. Walk your ass in there and get going. Yeah. No, I'm with you on that one. Okay. No, Man, I know, dude. I'd be balder than a goddamn doorknob. Yes, you would be. And I know. you're not far off right Well, now. my front part looks good. <laughs> it does. It's my back part. I didn't get it done. <laughs> well, you need to go back there and do it. Yeah, Andy, I know. <laughs> so let's get that God done. damn. Let's get that done. I'll make fun of my hair. Hey, we love our friends at Car Shield too, Cam. Yeah, man. Uh, always have that protection. Mm. Uh, you never know when something's going to go down. You want to make sure that you're protected at all times. Uh, it could be your uh, radiator. It could be your uh, alternator. It could be the engine. Could be your brakes. It could be the starter. Could be whatever. Could be anything. Could be embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. If you're wheeling and then all of a sudden your car doesn't. Oh, start. you ain't getting pussy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, oh, I like guys that their car does start. You know, I don't give a shit what you look like. Your car doesn't mm-hmm. start. Yeah. You ain't getting me. Oh, is that is that how it goes? Well, if I'm a woman. Yeah. Well, especially if she's already in the car. If, if she's in the car and you're like. <laughs> 
She's like, I'm done with you. And you're like, oh, I got it. Just needs a little bit let, of. Let uh, me, uh, let me open, pop the hood, honey. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't work that way. Oh like, it's God. fucked. Yeah. And then you got to wait you for You might as well just open the door for her to leave. You might as well just get on with Say, yourself, you know girl. What? My bad. It's great. I'm a fucking hoser. I know it. I know it. <laughs> so. Yeah. Nice knowing you. Yeah. Anyway, 800 857 2481. Give him a call today and uh, use that promo code CAM, which is very embarrassing. I get it, but you're going to save 10%. So do it. Do it today. Go to CarShield, CarShield.com. Bellman.com, Cam. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Danny Boy, he's got something in store for the spring and the summer, man. I can tell yeah, you that right now. Stuff. Now we're in the summer. Yeah. Uh, they've got the Buick, the GMC. They've got the Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, all in Troy, Missouri. Two sides of the street. They just take over the entire town of Troy. Well, they're the best of the best, baby. And they do a lot of cool work mm-hmm. in St. Louis. They're big hockey fans. Oh, yeah. No swinging dicks coming out, creeping out your your girl. Can you give me an idea of what you won't get? Swinging dick. Saying, hey. What does that mean? I don't know. That means uh, when your wife walks in, you got s- 10 swinging dicks come out there swinging their dick around, telling your wife how tough they are mm-hmm. and how they played football in high school. I played football. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, asshole. Get away from her, psycho. <laughs> I used to beat you. Be- Cam? Cam dancing? I used to kick his ass. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't even go to my high school. I don't even know you. Swinging dick. Not at Bellman. None of that shit. No. You don't get any of that. Bellman.com. You yick. Uh, Zero Carb Life Pizza, Cam. I got a new package, by the way. I'll be bringing you more tomorrow. So he had to get a hold of me. Oh, yeah. And he's sending me fucking pizza. Because you steal. You t- you keep all the I shit. I don't. Yeah, I don't, you do. I, I need don't. to go to your house. I keep forgetting. This is unacceptable. I keep forgetting. It's I told unacceptable. Brody, it's not something that I could put in the car where it's just there. Motherfucker. I have to be reminded before I leave your, the house because they're in the freezer. Andy, I got to go to your house and mm-hmm. snoop around a little bit. Do it. Because I, I there's things there that are mine. Like what? Like what would like, you? Like I don't know. Like what would like, you? There's a, I bet you there's a bunch of shit that people <laughs> sent you and they wanted to give it to me and you fucking kept it. That's not true. I bet you a million bucks of this. Zero chance of that. You know what about the uh, no, zero carb pizza? Zero carb life. How do you spell life? L Y F E. In this case, you're right. Lifey. Listen about this crust. It's uh, sugar, started. dairy, green, uh, grain, and egg free. Oh, Makes it diabetic started. and uh, celiac friendly, and it's great for the keto diets, Cam. Yeah. So it's good for I want to be eating. healthy yeah. and eat good well, shit. Well, that's why you eat this. Well, you could pimp that out all you want. Well, so you, you know you got the healthy base. Yeah, yeah, you got the healthy base. But yeah. I might have to put some back in chorizo on that motherfucker. Mm. I might have to put some fatties on that yeah, mug. Yeah, but then it's not good for you. Well, it's better than shit. <laughs> no, no, it is good for you, Andy. Mm. But you could still be healthy with everything else and, and dabble in some meat if you want. That maybe he's not as healthy. Because if you dabble with meat mm-hmm. with unhealthy, now you're double unhealthy. Now you're just, you're healthy. But if you want to be a little bit unhealthy, at least you're healthy in the other sense. Yeah. They call their uh, <laughs> they call their protein protein. Hell yeah. Yeah. So it's like protein. You feel good. You're 75 horny after you. 75 grams eat. of uh, protein in their 12-inch crust. How about that, man? It's guilt-free. You go to the gym, then smash the pizza when you get home. Oh, it's like a God, post-workout meal. Oh, my it's God. It's a chicken crust, which people... Haven't uh, probably experienced that before. Fucking but you good, have to man. use the uh, my own personal recommendation for how to cook it. You put it up to 500 degrees. Yeah. You put the little olive oil underneath Everybody it. Everybody knows, Andy. Any, anybody that's, mm-hmm. that cooks knows that. Yeah. You're a rookie. I may take you are some a rookie when it comes to cooking. To uh, India with me when I go over there to uh, visit some people. They've got no, several eat, homes over yeah, there he said food. I can stay in. Eat their food. Oh, See I'll how eat Indian food be. all day long. You pissing out of your ass. That's not true, dude. You ever gone to the Indian buffet? I've asked you that before. Yeah, I like well, Indian Well, it's buffet. amazing. Andy, I like all kinds yeah. of different food. I make I Indian food, too. If yeah. you want to come over, I'll I make like some curry. for you. Uh, well, your neighbors eat it. Mm-hmm. Oh, they do. Well, they invite me over and stuff like that. Curry and is a unique smell, and if you do cook curry it's and, a you're wonderful. Like, and you're in like in a fucking hotel or something, you're stinking the place hey, up. I sent you a picture, dude. I made that seafood stew. People that looked it. goddamn good, homie. You did oh good my on God. Fat. Oh, I, so good. Man, I want to see. I'm going to do a seafood broil. Yeah. With fat yeah. ass. Boil. Ki- yeah. Boil. Yeah. With king crab legs. Yeah. Shrimp. We didn't do the crab legs. Oh, we I want the fat shrimp. ass lobster tail. Oh, we did the God. lobster tail. We did the sausage. Sausage. Spicy sausage. <laughs> yeah, we did. Spicy. Yeah, but you did a veggie sausage. So <laughs> <you pussy ass. laughs> we did um, uh, salmon. Yeah, man. That looked good, dude. I would have ate the fuck yeah. out of that. Oh, my God. It was so That's good. That's the one thing I, you've cooked so far, and I, besides the pizza, where I'm like, yeah. damn, I'd eat that. It was damn good. But I want that seafood. But oh. go to um, 
Dang, I'm hungry. Zero Carb Life Pizza. L-Y-F-E. Say what up to Brandon. Hey, Brandon. And all the boys over there, What's man. What's up, dudes? And uh, check it out. Use that promo code Cam and Stern. Yeah, easy that, peasy. Yeah, use that promo code. And it's going to save you 15%. So we want to save you money. Yeah. So check and it out. healthy. Let us know. 500 degrees, brush it with olive oil. Oh, right. God, I'm hungry. Use my own instructions. I'm bringing those pizzas Fuck. for you guys tomorrow. Oh, I got um, fucked up over the weekend, and I might dude. just... Oh. oh, did you? Oh, dude, yesterday. <laughs> oh, God. Hey. I might even explain it. The Mars Blade. Yeah. Were you cruising I'm around? I'm toe-dragging motherfucking cougars. Okay? Toe-dragging cougars. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. My wife's like, oh, you're rollerblading again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> the women folk are out. They want to see what's up. Dude, these things are so comfortable. Ty got a pair, too. Good, man. So, um, well, yeah, we're cruising around, dude. We're back to rollerblade. I'm thinking about joining a league, a rollerblade league. You're too league. fragile, dude. <laughs> you are, man. You no, can't. No, I, don't, you I can't. don't get hurt, Cam. Not Andy, you're fragile as shit. What are you talking you about? You can't. Any, if somebody bumps you and stuff, like you crumble, like you can't do that kind of stuff. Let Ty do it. You can't you can't play any like physical sports. No, I can do it. No, you can't. I can do it. You're you're fragile, oh. and I'm worried about your you know concussions and stuff. Then yeah. it slows you down. Well, then that's money, you know, business. I know. I, know. I, I don't know. want you playing you anything. Gotta be rough. careful about that. You I don't want you playing anything rough. Maybe like out back backyard stuff. If yeah. you want to play volleyball, hey, people are hitting me up asking me if there's a promo code for Mars Blade. Listen, as it sits right now, there's not, but oh, maybe, yeah. maybe we'll have one. Yeah. Because people want to know if there's a promo code trying to save some money on those Mars blame Blades, dude. I don't blame him. Austin Matthews is like part of the ownership group. He's wheeling around. Shane Wright, that he kid was is wearing those uh, roller blades in uh, oh, the yeah. first round. Oh, yeah. No, he was. Oh. <laughs> no, he probably was wearing the holders, though, which are sick, like yeah. the toques. Um, Cronwall, Zetterberg, dude, we got like, every suite, it feels like, in the league is like. Can I tell uh, a story real quick? It's like doing the stuff with Mars Blade. With what? Cron- Cronwall and Zetterberg. Oh, yeah. What happened? So we're up in Detroit one time, and this is when Detroit was fucking good. Oh nine, mm-hmm. I was with on a line with Chris Porter and Reaver. <laughs> we went up to Joe Lewis mm-hmm. and shit stomped them. Yeah, like ten to one, ten to one, something. and I get a goal and assist. <laughs> and then at the end of the game, I wanted that. Oh, like, yeah, exactly. I wanted that. Yeah, like, for a stick. I wanted that motherfucking Gordy Howe. So I ran oh, yeah. up by nine. Mm-hmm. I run Cronwall at the end of the game. You're such Hit a him dick. Fucking. Kind of weird and goofy. Spun him around, waiting for somebody to come. Like, just jackass. Nobody would come. I, hell no. Not on that I team. was an asshole piece of yeah. shit that whole game. Yeah. And then afterwards, for some reason, I need. I wanted Zetterberg stick. For, so I go up to him. I go, hey, dude, can I get a stick from you? He goes, absolutely. And he signs it right away. Gives it to me. Comes in the locker room, opens it up, gives me a stick. Really? After being a jackass on the ice. Yeah. And I'm like... See, yeah, he's he's classy. He is fucking awesome. Dude. You're not classy. I know. No, I know. Yeah, that was see, dickhead. That was not a classy I move. Know, you're I know. I know. Nine. I don't know why. I'm a goddamn hazy. And they need him. They're trying to I win a cup. Know. You guys weren't even close Stupid. to being a cup contender. Stupid. You're trying to take out their best. Yeah, defense. and fight a guy. Come on. Dude. I know. Uh, that is embarrassing. Well, if I would have known you did that. I would not have done the podcast with you, dude. To be honest, <laughs> get with get you. out of here. <laughs> that was dickhead move on my part. Yeah, and I admit yeah. it. And so Cromwell's supposed to come on with us, and now he might not. Well, because you just reminded him of this situation. I think he's going to be okay. He yeah. Cromwelled a lot of dudes. Uh, yeah, uh, Nyquist, um, Strawman, dude. Everybody in the league, dude, is, is is using these. You should too. Check out Mars Blade and check it out today. Awesome. Um, Toe drag them cougars like I do, baby. Out of Sweden, it's got this little Swedish flag on there. My car, by the way, my racing series Volvo. Uh, it's the racing design. Badass. It has a Swedish flag connected to the seat. Dude. It's not a Ukraine flag? No, it's not. It's Swedish. They kind of sure? They look similar. I know they do. Ukraine soccer team, I think, is doing pretty Aren't good Aren't they right supposed now. to be in a war? I don't know. Why are the, the grown men not, like, staying well, home? Dude, and, like, doing? but you know what? It's bringing their country together, giving them something to be yeah. happy about. Yeah. What are you, like, anti-Ukrainian? Oh, no, I'm like, I want all the men to fucking fight for your country. Well, dude, it doesn't work like that. Oh, it doesn't? Well, not every... Oh, well, tell me how it works. Well, the soccer players, they've got... They're I'm playing... They're doing something for their country. I get that. I get you saying that. Come on, dude. Yeah, I know. I'm just letting but, you like, know. A lot like, of people are like... I'm like, aren't they... Some people are, like, diehard Ukrainian, like... I know. But they act like... Um, like, how do you play soccer? They when act like they've always followed the invaded. Ukrainian soccer team. Oh, I've been following the Ukrainian oh, soccer these team for 20 years. <laughs> no, the Ukraine... They, mean, no, the, you, they couldn't even point it out on a map. <laughs> they couldn't even do it. But we're the thinking Ukraine. about everybody over there in Ukraine. Yeah, man. You know. I know some Russian players that are actually headed back to Russia for yeah. the summer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean... So, it's like, just, some players have I said, I don't know confusing. if I'm going to go back. I know of a couple that are headed back. 
So yeah, wow. they hadn't seen their family in quite some time. Well, the ruble's still pretty good over there. Yes, it is. Funny how that works. Oh, well, is what? it? Yeah. Hey, what do you know about rubles, dude? Yeah, I just read the paper, homie. Uh, I do my. What's the ruble right now? I don't know. You don't know what the exchange is? No, but it's is? not as bad as you would think it. Really? Their economy's not What do they use in Ukraine? I have no fucking clue. Whatever it is. Uh, you don't know? You know? It's probably less than a dollar. I, I, I don't know. Okay, well, look Ukraine, that up. Probably the ruble. Let us know. <laughs> Let us know when we get to the close. I don't. I don't think anybody. Gives Let us know fun. after the. Interview. No one's going to Ukraine. Oscar Sunquist, baby. Yeah, live, and in full effect right here on the Camden Strick Podcast. The Camden Strick Podcast is brought to you by Car Shield. You know, nothing more frustrating, Cam, than when that engine light comes on, and you know, right off the bat, you're going to have to spend. Thousands oh. of dollars <gasps> to repair your vehicle. Call 800 857 2481. Mention the promo code CAM mm. or visit carshield.com and use the code CAM to save 10%. Yeah. That's carshield.com. A deductible may apply. Save yourself money. Cam. Sign up and get your coverage now Cam. with carshield.com. Cam. Now to the Cam. interview. What's up, Sonny? How we doing, guys? Sundog. Welcome into the show. <laughs> Thank you. Can I just say, start off real quick? Yeah. These fucking guys who don't know, they don't text back. That's this guy right here. Yeah, text back. He does not. And then he finally does out of nowhere. Then he finally does out of nowhere. Sonny, I do the same shit. I mean, it depends who's texting me, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. Some chick at 3 o'clock in the morning, you might get back. But Andy, <laughs> to do something. No, no we get this, it, man. Look at this guy back in St. Louis. Yeah. First off, how was Detroit? Like, did you enjoy your time there? Yeah, uh... I mean, first class organization when it comes to taking care of you, uh, making you feel like feel like home and part of the team. Uh, same with my with my girl coming up there, and and uh, you you basically have a have a person next to you the whole time. Like, what do you need? Do you need anything? Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll fix it for you. You need reservations. We'll they, we can text them the same day. You got a reservation that night at whatever whatever restaurant you want. So it's it's uh. It was big, big difference there uh, between the teams, as I would say. But, I mean, first-class organization with, with how to take care of you. They don't, they don't do that in St. Louis, though? You can't text anybody in St. Louis and be like, I need a reservation? Not really. I mean, you need to – I mean, a, a, lot, a lot of guys, you, need, you just need to text one of the guys. And yeah. They, they have most of the owners and, and stuff like that. But yeah. for, for that, Detroit kind of just had this, had this one girl that had all the all – the, contacts and yeah. like she set it up this quick just right away i would be perfect in that you job. would be perfect for that yeah. i mean i could because i do like you would be really guys bad. when they listen it happens a lot of times when when players get traded here they come in their agents if i know their agents they'll be like hey he needs a real estate agent he needs yeah. to know this he needs to know that where can he get a suit where should he eat well don't ask andy where the fuck you need to eat because he eats like grass and shit <laughs> he doesn't even eat meat so like don't i wouldn't ask it's that not true. Uh, it's, it's not, not a steiner He's like, yeah, he thinks he's Steiner. Yeah, Ryan O'Reilly. I'm like Ryan O'Reilly. <laughs> yeah, but I go to good restaurants. Listen, though. You do go to good restaurants. I'll give you that, which is important. Hey, what are you doing in town? Uh, well, my my girl's from here, and we are keeping the house here, and so spending most. You are keeping most the house. Yeah. He's gonna bang the drum on like opening right. night yeah. next year. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> did the did they ask boy. you to do that? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. I told him I can't do that. Mm. You don't want to be like Brady Kachuk? I, I, I think I would screw it up. Cam did it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I played a, I played a triangle in school. That's like all all the game is. So I, I, I don't, <laughs> the I don't know. triangle. Yeah, that's what all the chicks like to triangle. It's a guys. good instrument. <laughs> There's strategy to that. Nah, you don't need to bang the fucking. Drink. You play for a different team. Yeah, like, exactly. you don't do that. Yeah. And everybody loves you, man. They yeah. saw you in a stand. It's, isn't it cool to come back here and fucking high five everybody? It was, I, yeah. and I mean, it was kind of like my first ever playoff game in the in the stands, like watching like a, <laughs> yeah. like a regular. Regular fan, uh, it was it was awesome. Seats are a little tight and a little too tall for him, but other than that, it was it was good. The <laughs> fans, yeah, fans coming up though, being like, "What's up, Sonny?" I mean, you, you, no one's not going to be able to recognize you, man. Yeah, no, you I got mean, your own look. You kind of look, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's good with with uh, St. Louis and it's kind of like whatever you do if you're if you're at restaurants or, or at the game, they're kind of like they 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 know when to when to come up to you, yeah. you know. Uh, so so during intermission, it was it was it was. People coming up, obviously, and same with like restaurants. Like they wait until you're finished eating, then maybe they come up to you and, and say something. Yeah. But like mm-hmm. they're they're so good at at uh, knowing the right time to come up. Yeah, say. respect. They, and they, yeah. Say this, they say good. They, they praise you. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they're like we people, miss you. We miss. What you. do they tell you, Cam? When they see you, they say they, they probably <laughs> your say your face <laughs> looks fat. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, well, I'm putting weight on. Yeah. <laughs> 
I drink a lot of beer. Yeah. I like how you like the Stella, baby. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, that's that's been my go-to for, for years now, kind of. And, Isn't it good? And, and then it kind of, like, started here in St. Louis, too, that it's, like... I think I think Steiner's daughter is obviously with with the with the Stella thing and yeah and and having having drinking that and I don't know it's after that it's just been oh you'll get drunk off a of fucking Stella baby yeah <laughs> it was say, same with like I, I was like I, when we when we decided to do this uh, winter classic uh, beach outfit I was mm-hmm. like I have to wear my Stella shirt yeah, that I have. <laughs> oh, yeah whose idea was that was that was that Bennington or what uh, I think it was Bennington Bennington and, and Laura I think I think come up with it that that morning. Uh, and then we kind of had a had a vote. It was either that or who was uh, lumberjack outfits. Uh, no, you uh, got to go beach wear. So yeah. we did beach. Uh, I think some of the guys thought it was a little bit cold, but cares. Hey, it's why you win that shirt off. Why you win Yeah, and that, won the game. Hey, hey, that that's why that's why Scandi wanted the the beach outfits. Yes, he could he go did. no hey, no shirt. Let the women go crazy. <laughs> I, mean, I was yeah. saying that. <laughs> That the Blues should have done that before Game One of the playoffs. Yeah, man. They should have shown Fuck up in Minnesota it. back in the like, beach what's where. Up? Like, I'm <laughs> yeah, I don't give we're a back in the yeah. playoffs. Hey, what's your hometown like, man? In Sweden, like, describe it. Yeah. it I, I picture it very beautiful. Is it hilly? Like, no crime. No crime. Be- no crime. Right. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's some crime, but it's not. It's not like it's petty crazy, crime. It's you not know? like uh, you know, four miles up the road. Kind yeah. Of thing. No, it's it's it's. It's a Cam small town. Uh, yeah, I mean, right. you, you kind of, it's like a <laughs> military town. Oh, nice. Uh, so, so we're, we're kind of surrounded by these forts that they built 100 years ago. Oh. Uh, I was going to say, do you have a military in Sweden? <laughs> <laughs> that was like the only thing we had, but then they shut down 70% of it, so I don't know anymore. <laughs> Did they? Uh, yeah. Why'd so. they do that? Uh, I mean, nothing ever happened to Sweden. I think. Uh, yeah, people. Are, it's like Canada. Like, and and ah, now we now we got now we got kind of Russia threatening us. And now they're like, oh shit, we need to start building it up again here. <laughs> yeah, you do. You might have. Yeah. To, so I mean, we had this these forts that they built hundred years ago, like and and kind of like it's for surrounding the the whole city. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was like the last last line of defense. I think when when. Another time when Russia was gonna attack With the us. German forces. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, German, settle down. Right. You, well, you, don't, Germania, you don't know about that. Over a hundred years ago, no, they had to protect their borders. They're really? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, son. <laughs> Good God. Hey, so growing up in Sweden, though, like, uh, it was hockey, hockey, hockey. Like, was everything about hockey for you? Like, was that? I always pick. Like, wonder. Like, is it the same as it is here? Like, are the parents crazy? Are they making you on the ice all the time? And just, it's just all about hockey. No, no, not at all. I mean. Uh, for me, it was a lot of soccer, uh, hockey. But I think the best thing there is like whatever you did, you always meet up with your friends and like play street hockey or mm-hmm. just go and play soccer during summers or stuff like that. Yeah. Just it was always it's always like something with sports, uh, but it didn't have to be like organized. Yeah, organized. Skate. yeah. You, you have yeah. to like Russia. Like yeah. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, isn't that weird though. Like in, in in the summertime, is it light all the time? Like, how north are you in Sweden? Uh, I think uh, I'm around one and a half, two hour drive from the some from the polar circle. Oh, huh? so, what's so the polar circle? It's like the, what the fuck do you mean? I want to know all about the polar circle. This thing, well, I, I barely know. Yeah, it's, it's the circle that goes around the globe. Okay, okay. <laughs> Cam, tell the us. The Arctic Circle is yeah. in the north. Okay, and yeah, No, this is, is the a polar circle. I, I'm, I, I'm 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 just letting you know. Like when the the, the Further north you go, the lighter it is in the summertime, mm-hmm. the darker it is. Just like Alaska, like you, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know if it's twenty-four hours. It's like an equinox days. type it's, it's thing. It's literally uh, that, that's, that's a car, Andy. Go ahead. That's, that's what's always so confusing with with the when you go out and drink in the summer. You know, you go out to the bar and you you step out and it's like three thirty a.m. and it's like it's super bright. It's like feels like it's the middle of the day. Yeah, like let's keep going. Uh, so so uh, it goes down, yeah. but like when you see the top of it. The, Turns back up again. Wow. So it d- doesn't fully go down. Dude, I was in Alaska one time. Uh, and it, it, was, it was like light until, I mean, it would, ca- it would get light at like two in the morning. Yeah, no, I know. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it gets dark in the wintertime. It's oh, very yeah. depressing. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. very depressing. Very See, much so, dude. It was, it was crazy, actually. There's good looking women in Sweden. Man. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I mean, there really is. Yeah, mostly blonde, though, you know? It's, I know. I, don't know I why. like them I don't blondes. Know, I don't know why, though, but it's... No, they're all blonde. The blonde hair, blue yeah. eye, baby. I know, I know. God damn. Is everybody there blonde hair and blue eye and nice? And nice, really? yeah. Everyone's nice. Yeah. I mean... You ever met somebody depends, mean? Uh, I don't know, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what was it like coming to St. Louis for the first time? <laughs> uh, <laughs> St. Louis was, was nervous, nerve-wracking. Really? Uh, and then I had Steiner calling me, uh, telling me all about it and, like... What to do and not to do, basically. Uh, so 
or where to go and not to go most. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you had all a bunch it, of Swedes. That didn't here. help me a lot with with coming from a small town in Sweden too, and and mm. Pittsburgh mostly like being. But same time, like I was in Wilkesbury. It's like Wilkesbury's easy though. It is. It's it beautiful, is. like but, rolling hills. But then you hear about all these drug meetings, like right up the highway there from. New York and Philadelphia yeah. and wherever they come from. and really? like Trafficking up and down the yeah. highway system, baby. Yeah. Damn right. Well, so Wilkes-Barre is easy to acclimate to. It was, small. yeah. It was. I, I had a terrible first uh, first impression of it, but staying at, uh, they sent me into a, like a freaking motel, mm-hmm. and it was like ants everywhere. Oh, and cockroaches. Yeah. And it was like, I'm not staying at this shit hole. Like, I'm oh, my why would they do that? Did you tell them that? I don't know, yeah. So they sent me what do you, a proper you call your hotel. agent or you tell them? I told I told the guy that like kind of like the team management guy like mm-hmm. the guy that take care of the team. Are they cheap, Pittsburgh. Yeah, really. Not the not the food like the Wilkesbury team is kind of yeah the yeah, American League still, team. I know, but that I know, but it's down. it's kind of like a it's a big different from up there and down. you know what they but, say. But when at the l- same time, like you have to learn. You know, yeah, you it's know. not going to be easy. I That's know. Right. Yeah. I but like that like, attitude. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Write that down. You know what they say when the lights go on, the cockroaches leave, but the ants stay. No, no, no. Did they're you know all there, that? No, did you know <laughs> that? No, Andy, they're there. They're, <laughs> yeah. The cockroach is there. It's I'm there. just saying, hard that's, to kill. that's yeah. the saying, though. Like, hey, listen, the if there's a nuclear leave. war, you know what's going to survive? The motherfucking cockroaches. Yeah. You think? Goddamn oh, yeah. right. Why is that? Because just like the mammals survived 65 million years ago when that goddamn asteroid hit and killed all the dinosaurs, mm. the mammals that could bury in the holes yeah. survived. Okay. God damn. <laughs> My ants aren't going I mean, anywhere every time either. it's a history lesson. <laughs> I, I can see it every that. time. Hey, every time. hey, okay, take me through like you're on the, you're on the plane and and you find out you get you get traded. Like, were you did you want to like cry or were you like, oh my god, like, and just walk getting up and walking off that plane? Like, can you like describe? I would be so like, it'd be it tough, happens. man. I know, but when it's on the plane, it's even tougher. I mean, yeah, I mean, my first call with the army. Uh, I mean, he called me back a couple of days later, but the first call, it's literally 10, 15 seconds long. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's you've been traded, uh, and you've been traded to this team, yeah. uh, call in a couple of days, hang up, and then it's like, sitting there, I finally got comfortable in my, with my coffee, with my hoodie and shorts on, and so it's like, okay, stand up, put my, put my suit back on, and I mean, I, I don't think it you was. You had to put your suit back on. Yeah. yeah. Get off the plane. Yeah, yeah. and then, so, so it's like, I, I don't, it wasn't emotional until you start saying bye to the guys, you know? That's when it, like, starts building up, building up, and then it's like, you just want to go quicker and quicker, kind of. Uh, and, I mean, you, you start from the all the way back, and you, you start with, uh, you come through all the guys, and then you have all the all the media guys and stuff like that, all the guys that have been uh, doing Twitter accounts and stuff like that, and then mm-hmm. you got the coaches last. Uh, so, I mean, uh, it was it was emotional for sure, and, and I kind of, like, trying to... Be, Rush it to get out of there. Mm-hmm. Uh, started to build up, and uh, I mean, like I said before, Pareko didn't didn't believe me that I got traded when I because he was always like the guy that's sitting next to me, or, mm-hmm. or at this point he was sitting in front of me. So I get up and I start putting my suit up back on, and he goes, "What? What are you? What are you doing?" Like I got I got traded. He's like, "No, he didn't." I was like, "Yeah, I got traded to Detroit," uh, and he's like, "No." So then I was like. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> it's yeah. like, so then I started that. Prego wanted like, to fight somebody for the first time. Yeah, he, I know, wanted, he actually got mad. <laughs> yeah. He got mad. Yeah. Because so, so, they love you. <laughs> so, I mean, then you start, and then when I start walking back, saying bye to people, then I think he started realizing, too. It's like, oh, shit, he's, he got traded. Uh, so, I mean, uh, I've been talking with a lot of guys afterwards, too, and, and uh, texting them after, and uh, Tarasenko FaceTiming me and stuff like that. But it's... Chief, Chief grabbed me outside too, outside of the plane. Uh, kind of, he kind loved of, you, man. I could tell. Everybody could loved tell. you, homie. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. The fucking <laughs> fan base what went Chief, fucking did, did, crazy. Did Chief get emotional? Chief, I don't think he was. Does he ever get I don't, yeah, I, I don't. I don't think you can see on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, stone cold. Man. No, he was, he was more like you know he like he's been telling me uh, all this time. He's I've had him. He's like you're you know you're my guy. Kind of like uh, uh, yeah. uh, damn and, right and. and he started asking me about contract, how long I've left, and uh, wishing me good luck and stuff like that. And like, what do you say? Like, you get, you'll be back here after your contract. Let me so. do the laugh on this. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, get your fucking ass yeah. back. He, he, he'll be. He was like very. I think he 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 was the most emotional I've seen him. Kind of really, uh, even though he he wouldn't admit it or, or show it. Uh, but he it was it was a nice nice little moment too to get to mm-hmm. get a proper proper goodbye. You know. It, I mean, I think it was good to 
to be on that plane and and get to really really hug everyone and s- yeah yeah because you know? everybody's even, there even at the same though, yeah, time you know because otherwise i mean my phone would have blown up even more than it right. did and that's true you know me sucking i can't text people i no, suck at answering no, people so no. i would have yeah. forgot especially andy i would have forgot half i bought him a stone <laughs> at the bar the other night and that's when he texted me back see andy remembers what he buys people <laughs> yeah just so you know yeah. he writes it hey, down yeah, as yeah, right. receipt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. he kept that receipt <laughs> were you were you um like completely shocked i mean i know it's always shocking whatever when you get traded but but were, like no one was saying oscar sunquist was on the move right no, and and I mean, kind of when you get on the plane too, it's like okay, it's safe now. We're we're heading to Washington, and we're, <laughs> we're gonna do yeah. and, and we're. He calls me right when we we're supposed to take off, like the plane's really? supposed to start moving, and and uh, that's when he like take calls me. It's like you gotta be shitting me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I I did not see it coming at all, and and I mean my my agent called me right after, and he was like I. Had no idea. Well, like, I'm sorry. Like, I had no idea. <laughs> they had to do what they had to do. Hey, yeah, on that yeah. Too, I, I think I yeah. think that's how how quick you went down. You know, you you must mm-hmm. have been in a matter of minutes uh, that 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 deal kind of like just exploded. Yeah. They're yeah. like, we want fucking Sunny. Well, okay. you're like, well, and you look at how good Letty is and how he's good. You know, like they, really they, they they got to get good players in return yeah. too, right? Yeah. But you know, two things. Um, first off, and Army's told us that when we, when he had a son, like he, he does not, he keeps those conversations very short. Yeah, yeah, he does. Like, like when you're trading a player, he keeps it short. Yep. But then like, when does Iserman call? Is he calling like right away too? He's calling right away. Uh, I had to, I had to call him back cause, uh, the plane, the plane goodbye took a little longer than, mm-hmm. than, than the normal time does. So he, he, he calls me right when I get my, uh, get my, get my suitcase. I couldn't get my hockey back cause they couldn't find it. In the back of the or in the, back <laughs> of the plane, so uh, they were like, "Yeah, you you have to leave. We'll, we'll send it when we get to yeah. get mm-hmm. to That's w- Washington." Uh, but yeah, so he he calls me back, and uh, I mean, then it's kind of just welcoming and uh, telling what they what they see in, in me and stuff like that. And um, had a had a little surprise. He 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 goes, "Oh, wait a second, I I got someone here that wants to talk to you." I was like. Who do you have next to you right now? Kind of, and so it's Nicholas Lundstrom. Oh, <laughs> and it's like a Swedish voice. I was like, oh, like surprisingly, he talked, more, you, in like, oh, he oh. talked to you in Swedish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so then is that's cool, Lundstrom. Though. Yeah. Uh, so then that it was it was a cool moment too, uh, getting him to like welcoming and like how much they they believe in me and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. uh, it was cool. And then he he was still there. Uh, I think another week when I got there, so he kind of. Talk to me every day and, and stuff like that. So it was it was cool. Did you go through the the, the new rink and you see all the fucking history, the, the history of it? Just like with a, walking into a devil's locker room. I don't care how many times you've been in there. Like I just look at all the different fucking you know teams that they had that they were successful with. Like all the guys that played there, man. Like there's a, the historical aspect of things with the Red Wings and even just seeing Stevie Y Eisman looking at that guy. It doesn't age, by the way. He, he's kind of. Terrifying sometimes. Isn't he kind of intimidating? He, yeah, he is. Uh, he, why? Yeah. Why? Because he's not like laughing he's or stoic. smile. Like, right? He's yeah. very serious. Oh and, yeah, he's yeah. and he's he's Steve Eiserman, man. Yeah. He's in full I mean, control. Yeah. Like exactly. you could see full him control, being the homie. a captain for like twenty years yeah. or whatever he was, right? And yeah. Being that guy. I mean, I was I was still nervous talking to him to last like end of season two. It's like almost like kind of nerve wracking and like oh like, like uh, yeah. How do I look? Yeah. yeah. He's so pretty. Like he's it's just everything's perfect. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So. But you know he's got to be one of the boys too, though. Like, cause he played for so long. Like, yeah. he's best friends with Panger. Like, you know, I, I so he's got it. That personality has got to be there. You right? I just don't think he shows it. He's, yeah, he was not going to show it. You know, you yeah. got to be yeah professional. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how's Detroit? By the way, if you go cruise around <laughs> downtown Detroit, <laughs> like you're used to that stuff here. You yeah. Know? So you're like, you know, you. I, I've talked a lot with with Fabs. Uh, yeah. And and he kind of explained it like it's a it's a bigger St. Louis. You know, yeah. And mm, uh, what uh, really surprised me is really, really good restaurants. Awesome really? restaurants. Really? Like Italian. In downtown? Downtown got four or five awesome restaurants. Uh, where I where I stayed out in Royal Oak, Royal another Oak. another seven awesome restaurants. Like it's so many restaurants that are so good. Uh, and I mean, it, it was it was a good time. Uh, Do you go to Windsor ever? <laughs> <laughs> Did not. <laughs> Hey, you don't need to go over were, there. Were you in Fabry tight though here in St. Louis? Uh, I mean, he he was more with the with the Eddie and and uh, yeah, and Edmondson and, and, and uh, who else, yeah, who else were we with? Well, those two guys were together all yeah. the time. Sanford maybe. 
Stanford was one of them. So it's like yeah. those, those three guys, uh, a lot of more, more. Well, they lived out of wherever they lived out there. Uh, were they Clayton? Central West End. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, where, where Vince Dunn and those in San yeah, Diego so lived. Yeah, yeah, so there was more those guys. But I mean, I, I love the guy. He, he's he's uh, he's fun to be around. And um, How did he I handle mean, that ACL injury yeah, again, man? Like, are you telling like teammates, time. like, you guys know what he's been through, man. Like yeah, this guy's had. Although the only positive, if, if there ever was one, is that it's on his other knee, right? It's not yeah. the same knee that well, he had before. Still. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. But I was like, I came there and like that's when when he told me I was like, oh, not again. Are you kidding me? Oh, and then then you see scars afterwards, like after his third one, it's like his oh, whole God. whole quad, his whole side, and everything. Taking like, shit from other places. Really? Yeah, I was like, oh shit, that looks rough, man. It's uh, like, oh. and just like going through that. It's not even just like, oh, I'm hurt. But, like, you're a fucking nuisance to everybody. It's, yeah. Like, you, you you can't walk. You can't do anything. Yeah. And so, like, first people like are like, oh, my God, I feel bad for you. But after two months, you're a fucking nuisance to yeah. everyone. You can't do shit. Yeah. It's horrible. You know who his agent is, by the way? Who? Claude Lemieux. Yeah, so Claude, <laughs> great, we great, had him great, on. Great story, should... great story with uh, with Detroit. So, oh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, dude, they're like, I have my my agent with me. You know, when, when you're in Detroit. Hey man, oh that's the guy that almost killed Draper. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> like you think Nazem Kadri has like Claude Lemieux was ten times worse. Yeah, he mm-hmm. was nasty, mm-hmm. Na- but he fucking did so it. He's man. a winner. He's a fucking man. score. He's a goddamn winner. Yeah. Is what the fuck he yeah. is. He's a winner. And I love dealing with him. I remember I, I talked to him with your contract a couple of times, but he came on the podcast with us. He was unbelievable. Yeah. He wanted yeah. me to call him Claude. He did, a, him he, he did a, an event. He wanted I, you to call him Claude? He wanted me to call him Claude. Oh, Claude. It's Claude. It's not Claude. Yeah, I call him Claude the whole time. But he was kind of joking. But he did an event in Detroit, I think, with like Adam Foote and some other guys, like not too long ago, too. So it's like everybody gets along now, you know? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he, he was at one of the games in, in Detroit, and like we, we were flying out right after, so I didn't have time to see him. I was like, uh, they they put him on the on the big screen. Oh, did they? Uh, did they boo Cause, him? Because they were celebrating. Well, yeah, Detroit were celebrating this brawl that happened twenty five years ago. That's right. Wow! And they showed him. What, yeah. What they, what the, uh, everybody uh, boo. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but then it, then it's more like he, he, I talked to him too, and he said like, yeah, I'm doing with the. He was with uh, what's his name McCarty. Yeah, yeah Darren McCarty. Yeah, yeah. Who, who so, organized so they, the thing. Yeah, yeah so we they, had him on they, too, man. Yeah, so they had uh, had a little like. Meet and greet afterwards with yes. fans. Uh, yeah, they showed that. They probably got paid for that. He was like, "Fuck yeah, they got paid for that." So, so the mule was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna have to sit and talk about this fight <laughs> the whole night now." <laughs> oh man, that's so. How'd you link up with him? Uh, it's my my Swedish Swedish agent uh, that I have, and I, I work with uh, uh, Four Sports, uh, w- which is basically run by by Forsberg. Uh, Peter Forsberg. Oh, uh, man. So, so you know him pretty well? Yeah. I've I met him a couple of times. I wouldn't say I know him pretty well, but I have to go to his golf tournament every summer that, that I can't even play golf. So it's... You're not good. I'm Are you more, a bad I'm more golfer? Different. Yeah. I'm oh, terrible. we should have done this on the golf course. I know. I'm, I'm more, we should have done this like on the golf course. Bad Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you're just... Our, you're yeah. perfect for us. <laughs> well, he, Forsberg, though, you look at him, you're like, God damn, you're fucking awesome. Yeah, that's I mean. the same there. Like, the swagger, just oh. the style. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's... That's too uh, like he, he uh, last time I went to his, uh, it's like a charity golf in Sweden, and and we all play golf, and then we drink after, and it's like a this auction, and my my Swedish agent go, hey, uh, Forsberg needs your needs a signed jersey from you. I was like, what? Why would we want my signed jersey? It's like <laughs> he wants it. Just just bring bring, bring, it. bring a signed yeah. jersey. I was <laughs> like, okay, I got it, and then then they ended up, uh, I get, got one back from him. Two. Ah. So it was like Andy. which was, team was, was, was like, it? Like the Swedish national team? It was or? the Colorado. Okay. Uh, but it was like uh, during the auction, and I, I think I bought it for like six grand or something like that. Really? And, and it's uh, a text my agent afterwards. Uh, it's like, so how do I pay this six grand for for this signed Forsberg jersey? It's like, oh, he he took care of it. Oh, Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> Forsberg took care of it. Yeah. That's wow. What, that's what cool people do, Andy. Yeah. Damn. That's what cool people do. Oh, and no, it is going to be yeah. a Colorado jersey, not a fucking Flyers jersey. Yeah, no, or yeah. a Sweden national team. Yeah, oh. but it's going to be a. He's on Colorado. a he's on a stamp, isn't he? Still on a stamp up there. He was. He was. <laughs> There's probably some left, but that's when you know you're a wheel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody's stamping you on. And shit. How, how old was he when he got on? Like Eighteen or something. Yeah. Yeah. We had that badass <laughs> move. He did a show. He was, he was still in school, right? Uh, no, yeah. he was in the NHL. Was he during the Olympics? Yeah. Oh, that was the World Championship. He, yeah. He, oh, he won. Who's the most popular guy in Sweden? 
Most popular guy? Who's the most popular hockey uh, player in Sweden? Hockey player. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hockey player. Is there somebody more popular than a, than a hockey player? I would. Well, I would say. Besides your uh, cousin, I would say. I would say Miss Miss World. Miss World. Like <laughs> yeah, Miss, Miss World. Sweden. Yeah. If you're Miss hey, Sweden, you oh, are how, really hot. How blonde is she? You are really hot. She's blonde. Oh yeah. Uh, but oh my god. I, I would say I would you say, can't marry your your cousin over there. Well, no. Is she my yeah. blood or not? <laughs> Uh, is that your second cousin? Yeah, exactly. Oh <laughs> going God. looking through family tree, like what is it now? Yeah, oh, right. she's no. really You're like in parts of part of the oh. states, they actually allow that. Uh, I, I would say probably obviously Forsberg is the most popular guy. More than Sundin, more uh, than uh, Lidstrom. I, I, I would say so. Yeah, I think I think he more than Gunnarsson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tie. <laughs> but it, yeah, overall, you know, you got Ibrahimovic, but he's more loved and hate hated. Depends what you if you like him or not. Who's that? Slatan Ibrahimovic, the soccer player. Oh, oh see, I, that, Cam yeah, has no I, idea I, who that I is. I Say that again. You either love him, love him, or hate him. Say that well, again. Does he flop a lot or something? No, he's just he's just kind of like a dick. Like, yeah, oh. yeah. What's I'll his say. name again? Slatan Ibrahimovic. How come oh. all the hockey players have like normal names? He play like he they're play. like Alex Steen. Like I can fuck, I can say yeah. that. Well, Steen is Canadian. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Andy. Okay, well, Oscar well, Sundquist. He, he's sweet. He's bold. Carl yeah. Gunnarsson. His name's Carl. Like, how many Carl. Carls are that's, floating that's around in Sweden? Cool I like Carl. that. I like Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get Oscar from? Like wait, With a K, by the way. With a K? It's, it's Swedish, though. Yeah, with a K. I like that. Is, uh, it, is it like, is Oscar in Sweden like John or Andy? Yeah, or it's very popular, yeah. Okay. It was at the time I was born. But because you think of Oscar in the U.S., you think of Oscar the Grouch. Yeah. Or Oscar oh, Meyer, I've heard that a couple of times. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. the Wieners. The hot dogs, Oscar Mayer. Yeah. So that's what you think of. But Oscar's like a yeah. John in yeah. sweet. I had uh, I had a little, uh, uh, we had a Halloween party at Binner's house. Yeah. So, so I was uh, I was Oscar the Grouch. Yeah. Uh, so I had an outfit there and we, we had a little, we had a little <laughs> tumble uh, at the end of the night. Uh, like I, I kind of got... A little bit too tipsy, I would say. So, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I know. so you know, you know, you know, know Binner had like food everywhere, like in his house. Uh-huh. But I was like, I couldn't see it somehow, you know. So I was like, I was oh, like, no. and, and Binner's like right across the street from me, like that street over. And I was like, I'm gonna run home and eat. <laughs> I'm having, I'm having my my Birkenstock on me that I have right now, and, and those are not good. But go ahead. And yeah, <laughs> what, no, those are most most comfortable. Oh, they're great, Cam. Oh, yeah. you can, Cam, you can when's have. your birthday? You know, we ain't getting into when's it. When's your Andy? birthday? <laughs> Four fifteen eighty four. I'm buying you a pair of Birkenstocks. I don't wear. I don't wear. Bo- I don't do it. So, so I'm. I'm. So you I'm going to, to my. Eat. Yeah, okay. I'm going to my girl and 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 her sister that was there too. And like, I'm, I need some food. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna run home and eat. And they were like, Oh, we we can we can make you some mac and cheese. And I'm like, I don't want mac and cheese. I want something else. <laughs> so I gotta start running home. And I, I miss this last step. Oh, oh Jesus. And this is. Uh, uh, and I just fall straight down to the ground and like just sliding on his con- on Binner's concrete uh, and like scrape up my whole hand and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and I go to the girls, I was like, it's my face, it's my face. I'm just covering my face. And they're like, oh no, no. And then like they take my hands away. It's like, my face is fine. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, okay, you're not walking anymore. So they're like, start shoving me in the, in the back of her uh, car or my girl's sister car. And like, Clifford comes out and like looks like people like just taking me away basically, <laughs> like kidnapping me. <laughs> kidnapping <laughs> this, gi- this this giant baby in a Oscar the Grouch <laughs> outfit. <laughs> so so Clifford goes, everything okay, Sonny? <laughs> everything fine. He's close the door. He drives me home and like, uh, I, I was uh, yeah, I scraped my knees up and everything. It's like next morning I felt it. Uh, so I have this scar on my knuckle. Feels like I'm like like you, like been fighting a lot. Yeah, but like Andy. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, when you go in the locker room after you have a tumble like that and you're scraped up, like people evaluate you, you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? Well, yeah, they all know it was a team dude. Halloween party. How yeah. co- how cool? I'll, is I'll take. I, I came in and it's like Ray is there and like I, I was like Ray, I need some help. He goes. What did you do now? You do? <laughs> <What'd> <laughs> what you happened do? now? Yeah. And you tell them the real story. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, no. How cool? He just is, loves how, them. Yeah, yeah. What's Benner like as, as a teammate, man? Is he cool as shit or what? Like, tell he me. is. He he's he's very like he's probably I would say like him and him and also Hoots is probably like the two most normal goalies I've ever met in my life. Really? Oh, really? They're all they usually like very. Superstitious, very mm-hmm. weird. Don't talk like, to me. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, don't you can't touch anything. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like 
Binner is like super awesome. He, he's a very cool guy, and and that's why it's like hard to see him uh, struggling there during the season and stuff yeah. like that. You yeah, know, yeah. because you know you know him like personally and that how how awesome he is. And you think that really like bothers him on the inside? Like I, I think so. Yeah, like he knows like and he worked hard on it too. And like he, he was like trying to figure out what was going on. Like mm-hmm. why, basically, why can't I stop the puck? You know and and I think I think that bothered him a lot, and, but like he he never he never really showed it to to the to the guys, you know. Like oh, he yeah. he's always the same guy. Uh, didn't matter if he was even when when Husa took over as a starter, he, he was the same guy, you know. He he he, he doesn't change, and mm-hmm. uh, same same now with him seeing him go down in the in the playoffs oh. here. Uh, I got a I got a bunch of bears in my truck. I'm gonna drop off after this for him, and yeah. you know, like just just write him a note and, and stuff like that like mm-hmm. he, he's such an awesome guy and like I, I've loved him since, since day one I've, I've met him so he's awesome that's kind of how we look at it like yeah. he, he just looks like a cool cat he like, is man yeah you know it's like he's almost like, like when you interview him during the game like it's not you know you're not having that real conversation because yeah. he doesn't like to engage in that yeah. area you know so it's almost uncomfortable maybe like but then you, you talked him away from that. Like, you can just tell he's, like, a g- good human being. Yeah, dude. He asks fun. about your kids and stuff like that. Yeah, just a good yeah. dude. He's a, he, yeah, per, yeah, I get you on that. You know? So, um, man, watching the team, though, have success and go to the playoffs, so like, you're not – is that is it weird for you, though? Is it a little strange just kind of watching that and not being on the ice with them? Because you were such a huge part of the huge. Stanley Cup, dude. Like, I mean, I mean, you know you were a huge – they don't win without Oscar smash Sundquist. Up, In fact, the one game he got suspended, they lost <laughs> the game, you know, so. Fucking smashing cats. I mean, it's it's weird, but at the same time, you know, like – I think it was more weird in the in the beginning and like you know like the first time like you put on a on a red jersey it's like oh like this is this doesn't feel right kind of at the first moment but you're Swedish uh, dude that, yeah. that's a perfect jersey for the it Swedes. is it is it's but, a badass jersey but it's like I mean I've been wearing the the, the blues jersey for, for five years right. so I think that just that quick change was like kind of kind of surprising and and weird but like now now during the playoffs I mean. Uh, it's it's more like I'm I'm cheering for my friends, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I I got I got twenty friends in that locker room, and like you, yeah, you, you're cheering for them, and you want them to 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 do well and and su- succeed. So, uh, that's that's what, like why I, why I'm pulling for them, and and actually, uh, why I was at the game, uh, the last game was more my girlfriend's, uh, one of her best friends uh, is Rachel Kent's, is Jerry Kent's daughter, the owner. Oh, the really? That that. Ask as my my Blake and like hey like you guys want to come to come to the game Monday and like watch a Blues game and I was like ah sh- should I it's like would it be weird uh, yeah. so I was like thinking about it and I was like you know screw it it's like it's my friends dude you busted oh, your ass I'm, I'm, gonna, watch my, I'm gonna go you, watch boy. my friends yeah. so so it's like then it was like a no brainer you know yeah. and uh, it, it was awesome awesome being there and like watching the how'd game how'd you meet how'd you meet your girl. Uh, I met her. I met her here when I when I came here to St. Louis, and she worked at uh, uh, Clayton the Park, where I, where I stayed. Uh, so you walk in there like, hi, yeah, I'm Oscar. Hi, I'm in an apartment. <laughs> hi, and she's just like, you would just kept like kept going in like, hi. You're like, god damn, I'm uh, gonna talk to this fucking girl. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm not I'm not uh, very very handy or anything, and and with like technology too, with like. TV shit and stuff like that, yeah. and mm-hmm. internet. So I, I always like call her, and she's like, I, I don't know, like <laughs> I, I, nice I don't know either. Is. But I called her, and she got to call the companies. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> to come, nice yeah, to come and fix it. So, so that's kind of like oh. how it started. And but it's, I mean, it's like open up too, you know, like with with a girl from her too, and like showing me all these awesome restaurants and, and places. Mm-hmm. That I mean, I was, I, I barely left Clayton when I when I. When really? Hey, so you her, saw so. so you saw her. You're in your apartment. You're like, let me look around real quick. <laughs> this needs to be fixed. I need <laughs> yeah. to call her again. Yeah. Wait, let me. Look. What, oh, there's yeah. something right here. I need to call her again. It was. It was I beat your game. It, it was kind of like his problems just keep popping up in my car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love it, dude. do you guys all hang out together? Like, is the team really tight? Hey, you got like your captain O'Reilly. Like, he, he's. He's the captain, but he's also like one of the boys with everybody too, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, he 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 he's he's been he's been really good as long as I've been here too, and and since he came in uh, right after me, kind of. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, he, he's he doesn't say no to to go out and have a beer with with you if you ask. 
Uh, so, he, <laughs> so I mean, he he'll still be there when you go home, he, baby. He, he can. He, he's got a good a good a good line with like when to be strict and serious and when mm-hmm. to be okay. Yeah. Let's have some fun, boys. Kind of. Yeah. Uh, so so he he's got a good balance there, and uh, I I've enjoyed watching him and playing with him. I mean. I might think he's a psychopath sometimes with, with his... I don't uh, see you being, staying being, on the ice with him no, at the end of practice. No, being, I, don't see I, I did in the beginning, and then it's like, <laughs> no, like, I can't. My fucking knees hurt. I, yeah, I can't do this anymore. Like, I, too I'm much. too tired, yeah. He's uh, got a good rhythm going on. Well, how, how, how do you compare him to Crosby? Like, you know, Crosby, was he... Was it intimidating when you first got to Pittsburgh? You probably didn't speak that great of English. I'm sure you learned that yeah. in school in Sweden. But yeah, but I, and shit. unfortunately, I didn't pay too much attention in those English classes. Welcome to my which, world. Which came and bite me in the ass. But uh, <laughs> no, that was that was definitely uh, more in- intimidating. And, and like, I mean, obviously, you knew his status, who he was, and how he did Yoink. everything. And like, it was, but it, he he's such a genuine guy and like nice guy. And like, he, he, he wants... He wants to talk to everyone. He he wants mm-hmm. everyone to feel feel part of the team, and he, he's very good at like bringing everyone together and and do going for the same goal kind of. But I remember I was sitting next to him uh, in the locker room uh, at the game rink, and it was like, you know, he he's got his probably the most superstitious guy I've ever seen in my life. Oh. Uh, so he got his three st- sticks that is like he has to have them on the stall next to him, which is my stall. So I, I get like a little corner on my stall, oh, no. like barely, because obviously I don't want to touch his sticks. Nope. <laughs> That's nope. the last thing I want to do. It's like he's got them like laying out on my stall, and like after every practice, like I had to stay out longer in, in Pittsburgh for practice because the media was insane around him. And it's like uh, 30, there's 40 no minutes room for you to get you undressed. I can't even get undressed. I couldn't get to my stall. Yeah. So it's, at some points, like sometimes I just grabbed a chair and like sitting behind the media, just getting undressed. And then like when they leave, okay, I can hang up my gear oh. again. <laughs> so, but like you see, like how, like his dad is like how he handles it too, like with with everything. It was amazing to see and like how how he take take care of his body and like everyone else. Like it, it was it was a real like good learning point for for me at that point too, and like being around around the guy like him uh, but like I, I could never do like he's superstitious I remember uh, I think it was the the first year we, we won there in, in Pittsburgh and it's like he's having his peanut butter and jelly sandwich uh, and and he's like sitting at the table and like he's talking he was talking to Matt Cullen sitting next to him at that time and we have a meeting so they they walk into the meeting and he has he has a good game. He has probably has three or four points. And the next game, we're all sitting we're all sitting in the meeting waiting, and Matt Collins sitting there, and uh, Mark Andre Fleury comes in. And he's like, "Kali, uh, Sid is waiting for you out there." It's like we're like the meeting's about to start, but like he's still sitting with his peanut butter and jelly sandwich at that spot, waiting for Matt Collins to come and sit down across from him, and then he can walk into the. To the, that to the, super wow. Yeah, That's he's, like he's, he's got he's got some crazy stuff, but he he's I love him. Like he's great. Uh, but they there's some funny stuff like going around him with with his superstitions. Oh, they probably the boys probably tortured him. When he yeah, yeah. With that shit, we, we were all Billy laughing. And the fucking guys. Oh, like yeah. all, all the coaches too are like, oh, they started laughing. Kind yeah, of. You don't want to fuck him yeah, up that exactly. much because he's like, gonna score. Do for it, him. keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 How was he like? Like even like going anywhere, like on the road with him. Like this, like that's. Just, like we we talked to Mark Messi. We we talked to so many guys, but like Sid's in that category. Like even like going, like do they have different alias on the road? Oh yeah. Like does he? Can he even go anywhere in fucking Pittsburgh and not get mobbed anywhere? I mean, I I I know a couple of times we went both in Pittsburgh and in, uh on the road stuff. Like what, what kind of like when he finally came out, you kind of understand it's like, oh, this is why he doesn't go out. Really, yeah, like it's it's it is insane. Like, what's happening? It's just people all around him. Like, as soon as they, like could, it, could I, you deal I, with that? No, and and it, and it takes well, like it's a women it, folk. It, ta- it <laughs> takes it takes like a split of a second, and it's just a mob around him. Yeah, it's like crazy, mm. and like so, like he, uh, like that's where like you understand, like oh, that's like he can't basically show himself because mm-hmm. like, that's everyone knows. It's him. not normal. You can't no, live a normal yeah. life. No. It's too much, and that, that was like the first time I've seen that, seen that like in the hockey world, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, it's like that's crazy. It's yeah, you're in Sweden, you come to Pittsburgh, and all of a sudden you're with fucking yeah. Crosby, and you're like mob fest everywhere oh, you yeah. go. 
he's got to wait. He's got a different life than everybody else. Yeah. He's got a different, like, everything's yeah. added every, added on shit for him yeah. because he has to deal with that. Is Malcolm a good dude? He He's kind of like a quiet, but he, he's, he's a quiet dude, but yeah. he, he doesn't really know anyone's name. You know, <laughs> hey you over there. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that tape. <laughs> so, but he he he's like the prank guy. Him and Flurry was kind of like the two pranksters on that team. Like so, I mean, like he he when you get to know him, he, he's a really funny guy. But like it takes him like three years to know who you are and like know know your name. Kind not of like so. not Flurry. He's like the nicest guy ever. Yeah. Hi, Oscar. Hi, yeah. I like doing this. I. Malkin's just like, get the fuck away from me. What's <laughs> your name? Get that for me. Yeah. No, hey, we, yeah, that's how it is. Hey, you really have a tattoo of uh, Gloria? Yeah. I, the, like, take oh your shirt off real quick. Where is it? Anyway. Where's that in your arm? Who else? <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, nice one. Nice one. I, I got I got I got so many, so many like people as, Who did that? Did you do that on your own? Just like a little Your buddy do that. Oh, we had a we had a we had a little party in Sweden and and, oh, and and hey, like the tattoo artist is here. <laughs> oh my God. He just got yeah, out of prison. He, this is what he did. It was like this, this festival with all these tents, like food tents and stuff like that. So it's me and a couple of friends, and we go, we walk past a tent to the left. And one of my buddies is like, hey, look at this tattoo tent. Let's do, let's do Gloria. And we all, we all like, no, no, it's closed anyway. So we go down and we have three more drinks or whatever, four more drinks. And we, we walk back up and like, Oh, it's open. Let's do it. So then we just we all just run in there and like we all got Gloria. Uh, don't remember much else of that night. And then we wait. We wake <laughs> Your up. Buddies got it. Oh, three of my buddies got it. <laughs> the same one. As yeah, you? exactly. Same one. Thing so, you know. <laughs> so what you tell her to do? Just like small little like. So so like we wake up the next day and like we we start drinking again, kind of and yeah, I get it. Like all, literally all our moms calls us. Like and it's like perfect timing too. It's like one mom is calling and then like when they. Are done getting yelled at. Uh, the next mom calls, and like everyone's just yelling at us, and like you guys should grow up, and like. <laughs> but then, like all all the all the moms are also like, but yeah, uh, make sure to say hi to Sunny. <laughs> like, say, how's it doing? Because they're <laughs> Swedish. At the end, of the day, they gotta be nice yeah, too. Exactly. You know, they're nice people out there. So yeah, that was like. But now it's like people that don't don't really know like that it's the Gloria from the Stanley Cup. It's like, oh, it's your daughter named Gloria. It's yeah. like. No, it's just yeah. <laughs> uh, your ex girlfriend. Yeah, that out. yeah. Hey, people in Detroit like they ask you, like players, like they ask you about winning the cup. Like they they ask you about the whole experience, whatever. Is that something they talk about or no? Uh, they do. Some of them just curious, like how it was and like yeah. how 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 it felt and stuff like that. And I mean, like also they're they're, they're such a such a young team you know mm-hmm. like like they're really young, young. Dude, we, they're we, we were, we were on the road and like i was looking at the ross and it's like holy shit i'm the third oldest guy here <laughs> you're gonna wear an a it's like <laughs> how old you know? 28 you're the third oldest they got like yeah. more cider they've got mason raymond all these young guys yeah. Right? yeah and then like at that point we had some of the older guys who were like injured and mm-hmm. gone and like so it was like it was gags that was that was older than me gagne uh dude, you're what you're a leader of that goddamn team right? yeah they scored his first Lark- game. That, that's larkin's awesome i love cool him cat it's awesome. Like yeah. they're they're all such such good. Like you got Bertuzzi, who's a little hillbilly goofball. Yeah, uh, hillbilly boy. Right yeah, there. No, I, I, lo- I love him. I like he's him. Man. I like him. He he's he's awesome too. Like he he he's a crazy boy. And like uh, we had uh, we had our little uh, team party after after the season. He and he wouldn't stop telling me that he wants to. We're going. I'm going bear for bear with you the whole day. Oh, oh, yeah. oh really? Play, yeah. Play that game. And how long? Like, how long he last? Well, we both kind of died out at the same time. Uh, but he, I mean, I, I still. He, he didn't start drinking until like four hours into it, and me and Lark were sitting in a hot tub, just crushing beers. Yeah. Uh, so, so like it was, uh, and I mean, after we left left the house and went out for dinner, I, I don't really remember. Remember anything? Uh, That's always so. good. That's always good. So yeah, so uh, I was not. I, I didn't really win either. I can't say. So it's like, <laughs> oh, we, we said it was a tie afterwards because we both came into the rink the next day, kind of like looking like crap, and it's like, yeah. But, but uh, if you stick with beer, you're okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's but, once you start mixing the fucking shit. But as a hockey question, though, like this guy, Moritz Cider, like, like, how, how good is this guy? I would say that this guy. This guy is like an animal, you know. Like he he is for being for being that young and playing the way he plays mm-hmm. uh, at the same time. And 
I, I saw numerous of times uh, my short time there end of this year is like people trying to hit him when he's not even aware of the guy mm-hmm. and it's like running on into a brick wall oh my god like he and, and he's that strong huh? yeah that it gets, that surprised me most like how like just he you can't knock him down kind of mm-hmm. uh, but like awesome guy too like young and like kind of like a goofball him him and Raymond fuck with each other a lot and like making fun of each other so that's it, they're fun to be around in the locker room and stuff like that. Like you can see how much confidence they have. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, obviously with with all right with the with the rookie seasons they had. Uh, but yeah, like awesome, awesome young kid, and he. I mean, he's gonna be he's gonna be in the league for for a long time. How you feeling? Like you had the ACL. Like h- how did you decide to have the ACL surgery, and then you're also gonna have both hips oh. done at the same time? Like. Whose idea, whose idea was that? And what was this like done in succession on the same day? Like how 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 this go down? This was this was kind of like a, a a long talk with 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 me and Ray. Uh, well, mostly me and Ray. Like and and it was not it was not a talk that like we decided in one day. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was more we had the hips kind of planned, uh, like trying trying to find a time where we can do the hips because my hips been bad for seven to eight years really so like, what do you mean bad like just grind the bones grinding together yeah like, so you i can't I, walk I, I, ha- I have i think i had like five different problems in it wow. uh so so it was it's like we it, it's manageable but like we want to we want to try to fix them kind mm-hmm. of. so i mean then the acl incident happens uh and we're like okay this is like then, then the real start to, like we start talking about the hips too, and like okay, and I mean in the end it's my it's my decision, it's my final decision. I want to do the hips too, right? Uh, so so how it went down is more like we do the ACL surgery first, and because that's gonna take longer time to recover, mm-hmm. uh, and then then you we have to wait six weeks. Oh God! So we can get the knee strong enough for. The guys in New York, the doctors there to be able to, you, like when you do the hips, you kind of have to pull the, like dislocate your hips. Okay. So they have to be able to pull my leg. So my knee needs to be strong enough for that. Got it. So they don't rip it off oh right away. God. So, so oh we, had to, we had to wait six weeks for that and, and uh, everything went, went great with, with, with that. And like, they did both know, hips, right? Did both hips at the same time. <laughs> uh, and and uh, I, I just got a, got a, my my girl showed me the other day her her one year one year ago Snapchat that I'm sitting in the airport with all the all the older folks with in a wheelchair waiting to get get on the plane. <laughs> you can't uh, do anything. I could walk right away. Oh really? But it's like super small steps. Really? And, and I mean, like the, the hip we came in came in for was the left one. Um, that one that one took one hour surgery, and, and so the doctor was like, "Okay, like." It went quick. We do the other one too. The other one took around the right. Are you awake hip. the whole time? No, no, <laughs> I'm Andy? joking. No, you're not joking. <laughs> the, 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 Andy's never had surgery. Yeah, he hasn't done the, it the, the right hip takes all, almost five hours. Uh, so they why? turned out yeah, that one way worse than the oh. left one. And they don't know that till they go in. Huh? Exactly, they don't know until they're in there. So like the, f- the left one was like, oh fine, it took an hour. Like let's do the other one. That's when the problem started with five hours. Like, I wake up and I think. When I wake up, it's the Blues are starting playing. Uh, that was the first game of the of the uh, playoffs against Colorado mm. oh, last year. Yeah. So, so that's when I wake up, and I remember first first thing I asked the the, the nurse is like, "Can I have a Stella? Yeah, <laughs> like, give me can, something. Can I give, give me a Stella?" She's like. Sorry, sir. Like we we don't serve alcohol there. <laughs> okay, I'll take you're, you're, yeah. <laughs> Just put it in a styrofoam cup. Yeah. They'll never know. Right, give me some pills then. <laughs> Good God, that's what I'm always like terrified now. Like every time I wake up from a surgery, it's like what what am I gonna say? Like mm-hmm. I'm gonna say something stupid again. <laughs> uh, I said some stupid things. Man. Oh my God! So then the rehab on that, like what what was how, what was more difficult to rehab, the knee or the hip? <laughs> the the knee, I would say. Uh, more painful and, mm-hmm. and more the hips is like it's kind of like fine but like in the end you, you're with the right hip they were not sure if that's ever going to be okay or not they're like this is like a 50-50 that this is going to work 
but it's but it's been much better. But the knee the knee by far I would say is worse. Can you D- tell just the like difference? the pain pain oh. afterwards too? Like for 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 a couple of days at least. Like the hips were like I could not sleep the first night. There was so much oh. pain. Uh, but after that, it was like it was fine, kind of you know. Mm-hmm. And and I'm like it was just kind of like you, you had to lay on your on your back the whole time, you know. Like I'm I'm a guy that like twist and turn in bed, so so. That was the hard part. Yeah, man. Being being Stay still. Stay still. Like yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, let me ask you about. It's like, can someone strap me in here or something? Like, <laughs> hey, let me ask you about uh, Tom Wilson. That fucking hit. And we like we like Willie, and he fucked that up. But like, I feel like he got rocked, and we're like, God, we were so pissed about it. But like, you rejuvenated yourself. Like it. I don't know what the fuck it was, but you got out of that, and you're just going and going. How bad was that? Did you see? Like, would you have to put the put the fucking shades down and spin and all that shit? Yeah, I mean that that was probably the worst the worst I've had. Uh, I mean, I mean the hit is like it happens quick, you know, in Hawkins. I, 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 I I'll see him in the last second, and and then it's just black, kind of. Yeah. Uh, I'll wake up after my concussion test in the locker room with no gear on, with with a doctor talking to me. Oh god. That, that's when I wake up and like realize, or like asking them like what happened and stuff like that. Did you ask uh, him for Estella? I I asked them. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I think I asked them f- six times in a row who hit me, Ugh. and I gave him the same answer every six times. Apparently, the race said told me afterwards. Uh, but like, that was the worst I felt. Not because of the headache or anything. It was more just I could not stay awake. You know, like I I I wake up, I have my breakfast, uh, and have to sleep. And then it's like wake up, have some lunch, I have to sleep. Really? Yeah. The your brain shut down, like your body shut it was, down. It was it was that for over a week. I just couldn't stay awake at all for any part of the day. I guess that's better than because some people will stay awake. Yeah. And be miserable and spin and yeah. can't have light, but you you, I, you I slept. That's, yeah. That's pretty good. Then, yeah, it is. But it, it was just it just got scary at that moment, you know. Like, like am I gonna w- ever wake up? Yeah. yeah. Like so. It was like that, and then it started to feel better, and like I was able to go to the ring for a little bit, and then ha- I had to go home and sleep. But other than that, it, w- it was kind of yeah. But like then you fucking found it, homie. Yeah, you fucking did. yeah, exactly. No, so th- I don't know. He he probably knocked something good into me. Uh, so, sometimes <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's weird how that works. Or I was man. too smart. I just need to get dumber. You need to get dumber. Uh, <laughs> That's my problem. I'm too fucking hey, did, smart. Did, did he ever call you? Tom Wilson. We had him on, dude. I actually he's a good guy. Keep in touch with him. He's yeah. actually a really good he's dude. A really yeah, no, I've heard yeah. that too, and and. and yeah. I, I talked to him. Uh, he talked to me after the game, after like the next game I played against them. Like uh-huh. he, he, oh, he did. He apologized and, and stuff like that. Yeah, do it. Uh, yeah, but he, I also have a I have a funny one with. I think it was my my first game back. It was against uh, Minnesota, and I'm lining up for a for the first face off, and it's uh, Foligno next to me, Marcus Foligno, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. and he he goes, such a bullshit hit. I'm I'm gonna take him for you. Don't worry, buddy. Oh really? Oh, uh, really? But he probably elbowed you that so, night too. So, so the next, the next, I, I was like, okay, I have to see, like, see, doing it. The next game against Washington, he fought him right away. Yeah, yeah. I really? like Marcus, man. Yeah, I like that motherfucker. Yeah. Well, except when he tried to like, who was he going to hit over the top of it? Yeah, oh, Nikola. Nikola. Yeah, Nikola. yeah. <laughs> yeah. take a baseball Whatever. swing at him. We yeah. all go crazy. Wow, yeah, we all go cool, crazy man. in the playoffs. But Sonny, you hurt motherfuckers too, though. You've hurt some cats too. Yeah, it's. I mean, <laughs> I think I know which one you're you're referring yeah, to. Boy. <laughs> You're a, you're you fucking two thousand. Uh, you guys were killing guys, man. There was it was a uh, it was a fun time, and I mean, I think it started with with Steiner too. I think both me, me and Barbs could, could kind of sense like when he got together with us, he was like he didn't want that. He didn't want to be on the fourth line, you know. Obviously, oh, he, yeah, he's yeah. he's been a top six guy his whole career. And now he's now he's on the fourth line with these two two plumbers, Sonny and Barbs. Uh, so, so he was pissed about that for a bit, but then like he he kind of, I, I think it just took him like a game, and like he realized like, fuck, it's really Let's fun go. playing with these guys, yeah. yeah. You know, and so that then it kind of like took us in, and he's like, like we're we're gonna be like he always like we're gonna be the difference, we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna setting the tone, and like yeah. we're we're gonna we're gonna lead this team like in the way we play, kind of stuff. So, so he would do that. He kind of all of a sudden became the leader because he yeah. didn't like anybody. To refer to your line as the fourth line, like no. he was like, "We're not the fourth line." Yeah, and you weren't. <laughs> no, but and yeah, exactly. I mean, you we, weren't. we started most of the games and stuff like that, but mm-hmm. like uh, we didn't really have a fourth line. It was like exactly. we were just rolling and and 
I mean, he 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 had us in in group texts and like texting us and like motivational speech kind of like really? games. Like he he was awesome, and I mean like. It, it was it was so fun playing with both and i mean we had we had the, the smart guy in steen and then we had me and bars being wrecking balls okay. kind of you yeah know? Oh, uh, yeah and now he's like a 20 goal score 25 goal yeah score, exactly like so, so now it's too good for that but yeah he, barbie, <laughs> hold on so you see Steve, barbie fucking kill a fucking uh oh yeah uh, so Sam Gerard. sammy like, gerard yeah, yeah that's unfortunate dude but like that that, that's kind of like the old barbs you know yeah like it's, yeah it's sticking guys what do you like more the goal scoring barbs or the or the, or the hitting barbs I love Barb's either way. Uh, he, he's a really funny guy, but I mean, I, I love playing with him. So I would say when it, the wrecking ball yeah, Barb's, because I got to play with him during that time, yeah. and it was, it was so much fun. Okay, so Steiner's sending you like he's 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 sending you motivationals like he, he's yeah I mean text like, messages, especially especially in, before like game seven, uh, it's like we're we're gonna be the difference kind of and like stuff like that. Like we're gonna we're gonna set the tone and like we're gonna win because of. Like we're gonna we're gonna lead this team like how to how to play mm-hmm, this game right. seven kind of, uh, and I mean I mean I, I was suspended for for game three and Barca was suspended for for game six, so it's like we were like when we weren't together it's kind of felt like kind of like a little bit lost like cause yeah you know, oh yeah I, I could have played those games blindfolded with with those two you yeah, know really it that's how it felt. explain that I mean like it it didn't matter where where I got the puck or. In whatever situation it was, I always knew where one of those two guys gonna be. Yeah, okay, right. uh, and uh, I know if I put the puck here, one of them gonna be there. Mm-hmm. And that was that was that was like a that was so much fun to play like that too. And like it's, it felt like you were never in trouble mm-hmm. wherever you got the puck. So it, and I I mean I've talked to talked to Steiner about that too. He he was kind of the same way, you know. He felt the same way, and it's mm-hmm. like it was always like someone's always gonna be be where we put this puck. So th- that was like, I never really had that before and it was it was so much fun to do. And on top of that, like we we started most of the game. So like we were like, we were supposed to take care of uh, Pasenak, Marchand and Bergeron, oh, yeah. uh, which was really fun. And like Boston tried to have them away from us. Uh, so like every time we, we started in, Boston, we always got their fourth line because they didn't want the Bergeron line against us. Good feeling, so, isn't it? Yeah. That's a fucking good feeling. Yeah, yeah. You're hiding your fucking big... Are yeah. you scared of us? Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, like, did, did crew tell you how hard you were to play against? Like, so they, Did he ever say anything about that? Or or did he just never, ever talk about it? And how respectful were you guys not to talk about it with him? Uh, we've been respectful. And, and, and I mean, sometimes it's been it's been coming up when... When we had a had a team party or something like that, like a, like a <laughs> guy, guys like a hotel room drinking night and stuff like that. But I mean, then it's just some memories of what happened. And but other than that, you you trying to stay away from it too, yeah, uh, and trying to be respectful. And I, I know I know Kruger too. I love him. He he usually he usually pep me up with during the games and telling me to like right before I came back from my from my ACL surgery and stuff like that. He was always like. Go out there and be the asshole and know you can be. Kind yeah, of like stuff like that. I like yeah. that. Smile. Everyone's motivating. You got the best smile in the league, by <laughs> you, the way. You know that. You do. You know that. And nobody <laughs> compares to that. How's uh how's Tarasenko with you? He's he's always been really good. You know, like he he he's he's a guy that really wants to win and he can he can take over a little bit to the crazier side during games sometimes. Yeah. With 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 uh so intense, being frustrated, right? Yeah. yeah. But like Super nice guy outside of that. Like always, always cared and like always care about the other guys. And like, I mean, I I I always loved him. Uh, I never had any problems with him at all. And except for sometimes on the bench, I've I've told him to shut up. Uh, but <laughs> why is he that, just too bitching? What, what is he bitching he, or? Yeah, he can get over to that at some point. And then then like you tell him kind of like you tell him to to shut up or be quiet. And then it's like like you you like hey. It's, like just keep going. Like I think I think it's usually more frustrated on himself yeah. than anything mm-hmm. else. So so it's kind of like he's trying to, like, hey, like just keep going. Because I mean, yep. everyone knows what he can do, you know. And and it's just you, you don't want him to get too frustrated and let that uh, take over his game. Because when he's on his game, he's he's unreal. I mean, like he. I tell Andy to shut the fuck up all the time. Hey, yeah, you know what? Trust me. Listen, some people are just like that. You know that they they just they're just loud. They're just they're so yeah. angry. And yeah, but they can deflate you know? the goddamn they team can. at times. Yeah. And you, somebody needs to be like, "Hey, calm down. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go." Yeah. Yeah. Is 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 uh, 
it's Chief's demeanor, like his personality. Is that the personality you like on the bench? Like they, they seem so intense, right? Like not in a bad way at all, but like Chief and Otter, like they're they're God. locked in, man. Yeah, they're 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 very, she said, very aggressive. Not aggressive, but like they 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 say exactly what they think, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, that's so good. Though. Otter so too. And, and, Otter too. Yeah, and I'd love that. And like, if people are 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 bitching on the bench, they they tell them to shut shut up. You know, mm-hmm. like, Good. so like it's it it sometimes it can be a big fucking match, yeah, uh, kind of uh, between them and players. But like, it's all good too. Like, you, it's afterwards it's like fine. Like, I mean, I think they're also so into the game. You know, like they're and they're getting like so heated up for for stuff going on out there. And like, uh, th- they're just very they're very emotional with with how they coach and uh, they they just say exactly what they think. So I think. I loved I love playing for for all of them. I think they're they're awesome. Uh, they they they've been helping me a lot throughout throughout these years in in St. Louis for sure. What do, what do you you made a little bit of money now? You're gonna make a ton of money. Like what are you doing with it? You got any toys, homie? You got a <laughs> fucking place in Sweden? Like what are you doing? Uh, I just I just bought myself a late uh, birthday gift. Uh, so I bought myself an Audi R8. Ooh! Ooh. And he's got a Volvo. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what I have in my? You know what I have in my Volvo? What? A Swedish flag oh. connected to the seat. It's like it was a Ukrainian flag. It was sewn in there. <laughs> so, so you no, know, like dude, it's Swedish. Right. You know, like right after, and it's the R series. Tell them Swe- Volvos are actually Andy, they're not it's bad. It's a goddamn Volvo. Tell them. It's, it's sweet. mediocre. I mean, you know who usually buys Volvos? Women. The most terrible drivers because they're the safest cars in the world. Yes. You know? Oh well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, but but like I, I buy I buy my R8 and like I bought it two weeks ago I think it was now and now I'm I'm it's in the shop like getting wrapped and stuff like that. But what do I'll, you get it wrapped with? Uh, the winterized. Like st- a matte black. I oh, need, there you go. So so I, I I where'd you get it in St. Louis? Yeah. Don, uh, da- Don Davis hook you up. I was I don't uh, I don't know where I got it. It's far away from here. I don't oh. know. Uh, but like I was gonna get the twenty three w- version, but uh, with with Ukrainian war and parts coming from Ukraine, oh. they're enough to gonna make it and yeah. just gonna switch over to to uh, electric. So I got a twenty twenty ones with with like the mo- lowest miles in the U S. So I was like, really? Was like I don't know how long I'm gonna have it here. Like so I was like, okay, I'll buy it. And then like if if they make the twenty three, we s- switch it in basically. Mm-hmm. But after I buy it, I realize, have you have you ever driven a car in Detroit? Uh, yeah, it's the worst fucking thing in the world because of potholes. I've driven, yeah. Oh, I've driven yeah, a car. So I was like, I, was like I, I can't bring that thing there. It's oh, like, it's going to get ruined really right away. I get, yeah. I get tickets all the time in Detroit, actually. They're constantly pulling people over. Like, yeah, because the they need money, homie. <laughs> so what are you going to do with it? You need me to watch it for you? Or? Oh, Jesus. You can wash it once a week <laughs> when I'm here. <laughs> hey, you can drive hey, around. Hey, what'd that, what, what'd that cost you? That cost me uh, 220 Two twenty. You pay cash for that? Oh, two twenty. No. <laughs> you have to pay a payment. They're they're worth two forty right now. Two twenty. You bought. Damn boy. Yeah, they're they're worth two forty right now. So what do you make monthly payments on that? Yeah. Okay. I just I yeah, just did well, that. Your yeah. agent Come handles it. Yeah. I'm well, my fan, financial guys. I hope <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you tell your financial guy. would say, uh, Oscar. Did you tell? Yeah. Him? <laughs> <laughs> you tell him, hey, Claude. Hey, we gotta call Claude now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Claude, I'm buying an R8, man. Start working on that next deal. Hey. Sometimes you gotta listen to your financial guy. Though. Yeah. Oh yeah, you that's true. No, I, I usually do. How many years left? I, I'm not. Do? I'm not a big spender usually. No. You know, like I, 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 I never spend money on. Well, you anything. got Birkenstocks on. I, 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 I literally never buy. I never buy new clothes. Yeah. No. Like anything. Get like free shit. Every, every every Christmas, I, I want new socks. Oh that's, yeah. That's that's, it. that's, that's, that's yeah. like socks and underwear. That's like all I need. Oh, <laughs> like, Cam, Cam, Cam doesn't buy anybody anything either. No, know? I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't really do much anymore. So, so that's listen. There's nothing wrong with that, man. You don't. Have, what, what do you need to spend on? Do you have, you don't have a house here, do you? Yeah, I do. Oh, you that's do. Get, yeah. get, get well, s- I bought that three or, years ago. So you had a house or a condo? You bought a house. House. Where so at? Uh, Clayton. Down here in Clayton. What's your address? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> right the, uh, like, right by Bozak and Steiner and those guys. Yeah. Peron. Nice. Yeah. Area. Unfortunately, Peron is my, my neighbor, basically. So, Buc- Bucinevich now? Bucci now. I, I got Bucci to buy the house he's, he's in now. So, oh, did you? Yeah. He's cool as shit, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I love him. He, yeah. He's a funny guy. He's yeah. a good player. He's hilarious. Good player. Yeah. He so, is. what are you going to do? You going to sell your house? You going to keep it here? I'll keep it here. I have a couple of guys asking me if to, to rent it. I, I don't know yet. 
Uh, we'll see. We'll see what's going down. They got to be happening. clean. They got to be clean. Yeah. Hey, what's your girl do? So, okay. So you're in Detroit now. She's from here. Yeah. Are you going back and forth? She, and she's, uh, she's quitting her job, uh, but she has hair. Uh, but then she's, she's quit Clayton on the park. No, she, do they she, know that well, she moved now. She, she's, she's <laughs> mostly, she's, people are going to be pissed about she, that. She's, she's managing another building, uh, marketing st- stuff and, and like managing that. And then she's also helping out with the MLS building. Oh, uh, right there. Yeah. yeah so, oh, so, okay. so she, uh, she's quitting and then she's going to have a another job, but like that's more going to be remote, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, so they're like, going to move to Detroit. Yeah. So, so she has to be back here. I think they had like in person meetings mm-hmm. and stuff that's like fine. three times a year. But that's fine. Is she yeah. from St. Louis? She needs yeah. leave. Sometimes she needs a game. Yeah, exactly. You, know, <laughs> you got to have alone time. <gasps> She's from St. Louis too. Good so. for her. She's a good old girl. She's a good old Midwest girl. Yeah, Sonny. you like it here, man. You like it in St. Dude, Louis. He's a, fucking, he's hey, a Swedish hey, I'm Midwest just let, guy. I'm letting you know, Oscar. Dude, if you're marrying, if, you, if you're gonna date a St. Louis girl or be with one for a long time, you're not, you ain't leaving, dude. Eventually, Andy, like you're yeah, coming Andy, back. Andy, yeah. Well, well you, I love the city. Andy. I love the city since I since I got here. You know, with a K, she's gonna follow him. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> now this this has been a like oh, St. Louis been like home. No shit. It's like home, you know? Yeah, you like it here. I, I love, love it here. Do you know that Besides I... Besides a crime. Do you know I'm Swedish, yeah. dude? Honestly? You, I don't believe that. No, you're fucking... My mom was no, born and raised in no. Sweden. Uh, yeah. Fallen, Sweden. You know where Fallen? Fallen? Fallen. Sweden. Oh, yeah. You know where that no, is? No, Fallen. He has no is idea. That right, is that right by you? No. It's not like, even close? It's like... Don't listen to no, Is that a nice not. city? It's nice. Yeah, see? Got some nice... That's uh, really, you, you really made a point there, Andy. Well, you really made a point there. Never been there, but I think it's nice. <laughs> yeah. Never heard of it. But is, yeah. Sweden, yeah, yeah. is Sweden nice? Like, is it beautiful, or, yeah. or is it not? Like, is it? What's it it's like beautiful. there? Okay. I mean, it's a lot of nature, you know, especially mm-hmm. where I'm from. I mean, that's all we have, basically. Aren't it's, you a skier? Yeah, my dad. My dad was was a skier, and like, I try to try to start that when I was younger. He kind of shut me down. He said either hockey or or mm. skiing was would be too much to do both. Uh, so he, he, sh- he, sh- he shut me down and I shut myself down because I was like, okay, I'd rather just do hockey then. Mm-hmm. Do you hunt in so Sweden? I wish I did, but I'm not. They don't hunt there. They, do not, they don't do that there. You don't know well, they, fuck from they, shit. They don't hunt. You don't, you don't know anything. <laughs> Are you a hunter? Because there's so much wildlife. There's so much. It, 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 look, it's. I wish hard. I was. Yeah. But I, 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 I haven't done it. And like, I, I don't think I can wake up at 4 a.m. Oh, morning, hell no. Like, oh, killing animals. Yeah. Too. I'm like, I love uh, animals. You ever been late for a plane, late for practice? You ever, you ever missed a flight? You ever done don't anything ever. crazy? Not, don't ever do it. Not missed a flight. Messier did, you know, by the way. Practice. Yeah, but that's Mark Messier. <laughs> Oscar, now in Detroit, he's probably messed, but you can't no. miss fucking pra- shit. No, practice, uh, I've been bad a couple of times. Uh, uh, St. Louis? Uh, St. Louis, yeah. I've, I've been in, when we were in Toronto, uh, uh. the boys were out and <laughs> uh, we were I think we were supposed we practiced at the their practice rink and then we were gonna leave uh, to another city afterwards and, and I wake up like I have my phone is dead I forgot to charge it oh, God. and I have uh, people knocking on my door uh, a guy coming into my room waking me up uh, and I'm like oh shit like throwing everything in my bag uh, we we uh, Gunner's him calling me, Steiner calling me, Steiner's like, oh, I got an Uber for you outside, just jump in, and I, I already right ordered my own, so I just screwed Steiner's Uber and just jumped into my own. Oh, so I get, Steiner, I get, dude, that's a good, good ass dude, I'll, man. I'll, I'll, I'll get sending you an Uber too. Yeah, I'll, well, I'll get to the, I'll, I'll get to the, <laughs> I'll get to the, to the practice rink, and it's like, I mean, I got, I get Drew Dvorak, the, the equipment manager, uh, kind of waiting there, taking my bags and like, showing me in a little back room, like where he's got all my stuff. He's changed there, and then uh, Steiner Steiner told the coaches that he he we need to uh, push the meeting because like he he needed more treatment on his uh, back. Steiner uh, is, is he like, Steiny Weenie. So, so he, he ain't Steiny Weenie no more, he, he, he dude. Ga- he know. gave me he gave me twenty minutes uh, extra to get there, and like I'm getting there, and like I'm I'm basically falling asleep in the meeting too, and like I got I got. Jesus, uh, Oscar. Van Ryan, ne- <laughs> I, I got, I got, I got, I got Van Ryan next to me, and like he's just dying laughing. Like he, he okay, they, they know they what's know. going on. They're yeah, all, they're all <laughs> they, players. They he, was, know. he was just dying laughing, and like it, it was like that was probably the worst time. Like so the Chief most never stressed. gave you shit, nothing like that. No, no, not really. Hey, how, 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 they, 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 how they, get, they gave me shit you? sometimes, like when 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 I come in like hungover and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They're like, 
they, they always give me shit like on the ice like but they, they, like someone's told them basically and like they're like mixing the water and like yeah. they all they always, they, always fu- they, they were always like, fucking with me you know uh yeah. how late they, how late were you like how late we talking like you're sleeping so st- they're calling you to wake you up right? yeah they, they were probably when i woke up they were probably halfway there it's like a <laughs> it's probably like a 20 minutes so they know already they're like okay yeah. sonny's not here Andy. this motherfucker's sleeping. everybody knows everything and, and gunnerson's like uh yeah sonny wouldn't take the take an uber to get there early so sonny's not on a bus <laughs> he's, he's sleeping <laughs> So hey, when you bust your ass like that, if that was some other dipshit, they would have fucking railed him. Yeah. But you bust your ass and you got the fucking green light. Yeah. You got a little pass on that. Well, all, all said Steiner and he he didn't. That's uh, pretty. Cool. Steiner's that good of a dude, huh? Andy, yeah. We got to pump his tire. We got to pump his tire. Steiner's, Steiner's always been like. Taking Steiner care got of a little like. He got a little late, weenie late, weenie late, late in his career. His career. Right. He He's got a little, a little too hot. <laughs> like, it's too important. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I'm like, settle down, Steeny Weenie. Mm-hmm. But Once now he, that he's doing this, Steen, I'm like, there, there was like pre Chaser Steener, and then when he started hanging out with Funny Chaser. How <laughs> that works, Andy. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, Steener's changing I, I, on me. He wouldn't even like, hey, it's all good. <laughs> hey, I remember one time, Cam, you were probably playing here at the time. I don't yeah. know if you were gone already or not, but like, uh, Patrick Berglund didn't show up for practice. Oh, Jesus. And I remember that. And I was I like. I heard his story, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, listen. So, they, he didn't show up. And JD, like, was like, oh, his his cell phone charger didn't work. And he didn't have it plugged in. I said to Caruso, I was like, hey, man, I was I was at the bar. with the, yeah. Those guys were behind the bar at, like, 1.30 in the morning, whatever, yeah. last night. EJ, Eric Johnson, was with him. And I said, of course, I'm not going to say shit. So, JD calls me, Larry. They're like, hey, you're not going to like say anything. I'm like, I'm not going to. But he's out at the bar yeah. last night, yeah. whatever. I'm not going to say a word. And Berglund never forgot it, man. He was always like, man, thank you so much. I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm out with my wife, whatever. Of course I was I with those guys, that. and I lived 40 minutes away, and I still made the fucking practice. Because <laughs> I didn't sleep. Sometimes like you got to stay awake the whole night. Yeah, true. You know I mean? Barcelona's back in the day. I don't even think that place is open anymore. Now when I'm Barcelona older, though, it's like I, I always wake up at like 7 a.m. It's like. Oh, I wake up. Now I'm like. I'm up. What's going on? Like, it, every, I'm always like, like now, like during the whole time I've been here, it's like, oh, I usually don't have anything to wake up for. Uh, and then it's like, wake up at seven, it's like. Then do it. What, Keep what your groove. It? Yeah. Always, man. Yeah. Don't fucking sleep until I, I also have my have my uh, physical therapy here now with, with my with my knee. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm doing that three times a week. So I have to go out to Chesterfield. So that's the only time I have to like actually have to be up in the morning. Hey, Always get up. Though. Couple more things, and then we'll let you go. Yeah. How's that? How's that Wallman doing over there in Detroit? You like him? Like when you hear heard that he was going with you to Detroit? Like, are you guys traveling together to Detroit? Like, what, did you were you were you tight with him already I, or I, no? Not really, but like I I picked him up from his house, uh, went went with him to the airport, and uh, I think he he was he, this is his first time, and like he was more nervous than. Than I was. He he was. Asking he knew it was going to happen. Probably. Yeah. You know. Yeah. He he said he wasn't surprised about it. Uh, but like he he it's kind of like his first time. Like he he kind of uh, a little bit stressed out mm-hmm. uh, with how everything, whatever happens. And I said I, I I told him I was like, hey, you you got traded for a reason. We they want us and they want you for yeah. a special reason. So yeah. it's a good opportunity to show. You're gonna get a lot of ice time, and like you get, you're gonna get a lot of opportunities. Yeah. So uh, it's gonna it's gonna be good for you. Uh, so so I mean, like I, I'm just trying to to keep him calm, and like mm-hmm. uh, pep talk him a little bit, and we we get there, and like he he, he knows some of the guys there. Uh, there's some uh, Toronto guys there, and like oh yeah, and, and I didn't realize that, but he was like, oh, what's nice is gonna be like it's like three and a half hour drive to Toronto. From Detroit, I was like, "Oh, oh so he's close to home." Super nice, yeah. yeah. So like, he he was like, "Yeah, I can go home on off days." It's like, yeah, I can go home on off days and stuff like that. I was like, "Yeah, like fucking nice." It's a so long drive on an off day. Here I am no, for hey. Three I, hours. I was Three like, and and "Wally, you forgot I'm from Northern Sweden." Does your family come over here? Like, are you are you like are your are your mom and dad like watching every game? Like, you have brothers and sisters? They're they're watching. My brother probably not. Uh, he he watch sometimes, but. Mm-hmm. Mom and dad try to try to come over uh, as much as possible. They uh, speak co- English. COVID, COVID. Ah, uh, they do. Not not great, but they, yeah, do. they can understand it. They understand yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and because my like, family over there doesn't speak, Andy, speak no one much, gives a goddamn much English about your at goddamn all. Goddamn <laughs> Swedish family. <laughs> and I mean, they're they're pretty good at the English. I mean, you you can get around, you know. Yeah. Uh, 
The only, you could read signs and do shit like that. Yeah. You get off the fucking... Yeah, you can order highway. You can order stuff from yes. from wherever. and, But, I mean, they were supposed to come come over, but then COVID happened too, and like, and my mom's passport's expired, so... <laughs> That's a pain in the fucking ass. Especially oh, really? in Sweden right now. Fucking six fucking months. Homie. Yeah, Sweden's no, insane. No, no, no. I just got what mine then? renewed. It's, it, it'll be here in about four weeks. <laughs> Six months. That's what to say. Yeah, right. four to six uh, weeks. We'll, hold your breath. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, four to six weeks. All right. So hey, we, let that hair grow out, homeboy. I know. Let it motherfucking go. Yeah. Be a crazy looking motherfucker. Who cares? <laughs> you like Who? the long hair versus the short hair, or what? Uh, not when I not when I shower. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's then the short hair is much nicer with the shampoo and all that. Can you tell stuff. the people in Detroit what they're getting in this guy? Just let them know. Oh, right you're now. getting a goddamn wheel is what you're <laughs> fucking getting. The <laughs> wheels around and does this thing. And you're going to see him out and about, fucking too. Fucking physical. You might have to go to Windsor and say hey to my people out there. Yeah. Say what's up. <laughs> I will. Yeah. I will. You didn't you think about it. You, weren't, you didn't consider. <laughs> he played the <laughs> OHL in Windsor. I played Windsor. You never considered coming over here to play junior or anything. Uh, I had an offer. but I think that was Canada, but, mm-hmm. like, No. Nah, would you have good... would you have made the Swedish Olympic team? I was part of the that whatever big yeah. I think you probably would roster that they they had. Right. No, he, they ain't leaving his ass off. You're no. not gonna let the fucking engine. You're yeah. not gonna have the engine yeah. in the lineup. You know. you know, so. I was part of that that group that was that was selected, but uh, with with how my how my start and everything like how it went with St. Louis, I don't think I would. But it was too painful during the season mm-hmm. playing. Uh, but other you than that, really were in pain this year, weren't you? Yeah, it, it was. What was in what was in pain? Your knee? Knee was in pain. Oh, uh, it was. Uh, it was doing rehab every day with the knee, trying to get it straight and uh, trying to trying to manage the pain there, which was it was very hard. It was it was it was one day I could feel fine, the next day I I could barely walk. Just from uh, the ACL still. Yeah, and and it was it was more it was more like. Half of the games I played this year was like skating with one leg. Oh, it was like I didn't have any power in my left left really? leg. Really? Yeah. You could, you could. Isn't it weird? Like sometimes you can't walk. Yeah. But you could skate. So yeah. Would you tell the coaching staff that? Like, hey, listen, man. I'm yeah. Trying. No, we had we had good uh, conversations and stuff like that, and and uh, uh, like I, we were upfront with them all the time. Like yeah. I took, I took some time off too. You did. Uh, I took that week, uh, which I needed, but like it was. It was also like they, they, Ray kind of stuck up for me a couple of times. They were kind of like, cause they, they wanted to play, you know, and, right. and, and, and Ray's like, he had three major surgeries. Like, yeah. yeah. It's not going to be, it's not going to feel good for him yeah. the whole time. And I, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to, the start we had when I came back, I wasn't supposed to play all the games, mm-hmm. you know, because they, we were maybe like playing like half the games, like just play a couple of games, rest one. Gotcha. But we couldn't because we got COVID injuries. Uh, right. Yeah. We played shorthanded, basically. So, like, I couldn't take anything, any games off. So, that was also a problem we had. It's like, try, like, Ray was like, yeah, like, I w- wish you didn't, like, have to play all these games because I would like right. you to have some time off. But we couldn't. So, that was also, like, you just had to battle through it. Like, he's yeah, just, just going to get better. Like, he's trying to think that way, you know? Yeah, Ray takes care of you guys, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, no, he, oh, definitely. Yeah, he, oh, yeah. He's, he, he sticks up for you for Big time, whatever. Dude. He's on your team. Yeah. He is. That's he, a good thing. And he, he was always great to me. Like, he always he always protected me. Hey, so, let me ask you something real quick. Can I ask one more question? About no. The knee? So Hold on. <laughs> hey, so, but you think, it, it, it'll, it, like, the doctors say, hey, this is expected, then you're going to, like, you're rehabbing still, like, even now. Like, you think that's going to be, like, will it get to 100%? Yeah, well, I had another, another surgery after the season in Detroit. This year. Yeah. Clean it up. Clean it up. Uh, they they said uh, the the kind of like the the graft that they made from the patella tendon was too thick, but it's, oh. it was very strong. Jesus but it was just a little bit too thick, so it hits the bone, and that's it can't get straight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who so did this? Jesus so, Christ! So, I gotta so, write an email. We gotta go in. So, you you so, gotta go in and do this again. So we kind of they kind of scraped it out, uh, scraped the bone, and and they found a uh, cyst. Okay, oh. assist, yeah. 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 That's no. what Cam doesn't know. Uh, yes, so, that's hey, what they take call your it. pants off real quick. So. Let me see your scars. I, I just <laughs> <so. care. laughs> Well, this one's kind of fine. Oh my word. This one's fine. This one's fine. Whoa, oh, that looks fuck. great. And then we have like these ones. Oh, uh, yeah, take it. Yeah, there. Uh, oh. Uh, like you got shot with a fucking gun, homie. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. So that's you're like, gangster. They were on fine. Gangs. Hey, what'd you do? Did Can you get I the cup? You my in, no, Andy. No one. Scars? No. 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 No one was cares. <laughs> hey, what'd you do in sixteen with the cup? Did you get the cup in sixteen? Like, how did that all go down? Oh, he did. Was it sixteen? Was that the first one in Pittsburgh? It's seventeen. Was it seventeen? Yeah, seventeen or so eighteen. I mean, the first one I played more. Did you? Because the first one I played two playoff games too. Yeah, you did. Oh, so you got that was the one. That's what. But yeah. they didn't. But, but put your, I didn't put your I, name no, on the I, cup. Did it was they? the first and second round. I played one each of those. Mm-hmm. So you, I didn't really play a full series, you yeah. know. But like, who were your so line mates? Malkin and Crosby. No, I had Goddard I and uh, Matt Collin. Okay, Matt Collin and who was the other guy in the fourth line there? Uh, I, I don't remember. Ah, uh, Kunako. Oh yeah. Oh uh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you didn't get. You, so I thought if you play a game in the playoffs, it's final. Okay. They kind of, they kind of, they screwed me the the second year, kind of. I would say the Nashville final series. Yeah, because the game six, the one that they win, they have, they have kind of. Uh, Nick Bonino has a broken foot, so he's not he's not gonna play obviously, but he's gonna try the warm ups. But they put another guy, a winger, and Bonino was a centerman. They put the winger to take the warm up instead of me, which was the centerman. Like and Bonino obviously can't play, so the guy gets to play, and then he gets. Oh, oh my God! Oh my so that was kind of like. Could you imagine? It's fine, you know. I, I got my I got my the one I wanted here with, with St. Awesome. Louis. Yeah, no, and, and, like, and you, they don't win with how yeah. you like I said yeah, exactly. Did you um get a day with the cup for both Pittsburgh uh, cups or just one? A god for both. I like guess, you have yeah. three rings. I have three rings. Yeah. Oh Damn, my fuck god, a legend god, here, dude. dude. <laughs> Aren't why aren't you wearing them? I, I didn't think. Where I was, are they at? Give me one of them. They're in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> they're in Sweden. Oh, they're yeah. locked away in Sweden. All three yeah. of them. What's that address? Yeah. The Blues so. one. You're most proud about the Blues one, though. Oh yeah, for sure, hundred percent. Oh, no, sweet. he's proud about the one that. They, yeah, like, no, yeah, winning so, one in the uh, Swedish uh, hockey league. Yeah, <laughs> no, this was the most memorable one, and like the, with the with the parade and everything was. Was it so. better than their parade? Yeah. Oh yeah. Crazy. Oh, oh yeah. How Every much crazy. fun did you guys I mean, have? Have, have you seen the video of Barb's falling off the truck? I was. Oh yeah. There. I was. <laughs> in, we were fucking hard with you guys. I'm doing. I'm interviewing you guys as you're coming through. I f- I forgot which I was at. Uh, I forgot the cross street, but like Sanford like threw up in the. <laughs> oh, in the like, car. Oh yeah. 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 Barb fell off that flatbed. Oh, yeah. Did he get hurt? I guess. Oh, the fucking back, dude. I, I can't. I can't believe he didn't break anything. No. Can't well, they didn't kill themselves. Yeah. They, they didn't have a problem with how you got. You guys just no, like well, let you had, loose, man. You had That's Binner, you had Binner uh, driving a little bike. Yeah, I think Jenner was driving a fire truck or something. You think the fucking St. Louis <laughs> like, fucking police force? No, they were yeah. yeah. celebrating with your you. Team, yeah, yeah. Boy. no, that was that was funny. Take care of you. It was so much fun. Uh, so it was better than Pittsburgh. Like, uh, oh yeah, how was their parade? Hi parade. guys! Was, Hi, yeah. Sydney's here. Hello, <laughs> yeah. everyone. Um, I, I actually, thank you. Thank you. I actually, Goodbye. I was pissed off at the uh, uh, Jim Rutherford. <laughs> He's like, I asked him like, "Where's the, where are all the beers?" <laughs> like, you didn't have any fucking beer. No. So I was like, "Oh, what like, for the you, parade?" You, yeah, you're sitting. At, you're sitting in his pickup truck, like doing nothing. Oh, but like, my well, God. yeah, you're doing stuff, but like, you're not drinking. Well, you're not. You no, know, you're not doing. Where anything. are so, the so beers? I was like, he uh, didn't even play a game in the playoffs. No. <laughs> like, hey, where are he, the beers? He was Whatever. just laughing. Then maybe he traded me away, but yeah. that's, that's okay. <laughs> and it all worked. We, out. we had him on. It all. Yeah, we did have him on, didn't we? Yeah. That's, a, that's the same time here. Like, I, I kind of bite myself in the ass with this trade too. It's like the day before, I was like by myself in the gym, like doing my rehab and like stuff like that. At the, at Centene and I had I had uh, Chief and Otter and and uh, I think it was Monty too like come in and like ask me like w- what what we need and I was like yeah like we we might need like another defenseman <laughs> then like oh, the ne- the next day I got traded I was like, oh really I wait a minute they girl, brought you in to ask you like what you well need. they were just asking me like how I was feeling and like what if if I believe in this team and stuff like that and I was like I hundred percent believe in this team. Uh, but they were like, if we, if we would get anything, what what do you think we need? Mm-hmm. I was like, well, I don't think we need more forwards because I mean, have you looked at our top nine forwards? It's they're sick. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, and so I was like, well, maybe a, another defenseman, a lefty named Letty. And 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 then it's just, oh, I got traded for Letty. I was like, oh, came came back and bite me in the ass. <laughs> what those guys tell you about Letty in Detroit? Were they like, hey, say, uh, I, I, I talked to. To to Larkin, uh, and and he was like, now after after the season, he was like, hey man, like, you know what sucks? He he goes, he's like, like when when someone gets traded, and like you know that like, I know that like, both you and Letty would have loved each other, 
Ah. That's what like he's like. That's what sucks with Trey. But like when you know that both guys would have gotten along so well and like love each other. Interesting. Damn yeah, man, you're lucky. Listen, dude, you're the fucking man. But hey, boy. like he, he made him a better team, and like he's he's been doing great. So I mean, like I'm I'm rooting for he him. He did all the make way. him a better yeah. team for sure. Well, he, I mean, they, like you said, you knew what they needed something on the back yeah. end, right? And, and like he's been they took he's advantage been of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how many more years on your deal too? Uh, this is my last one coming up here. Okay. You're gonna make a lot of money. Hey, you're gonna be healthy. You're going to have a great year. Let me year. know when you want to buy a fucking boat, because I'll hang with you, homie. Yeah. I'll take you out No, here. we're taking you golfing. No, no. I'm going to do it. Don't you have a boat? Yeah, well, it got totaled uh, back in 2015 under uh, <laughs> the flood. But I'm going to get another one once Andy makes me a little bit little bit more money. <laughs> I'm going to get a badass boat. Kay. And I'm going to take all you. We're going to buy an R8. Yeah. Can't wait for that. 220. Right. Do you have a second that. car, too? Like, what are you, you going to drive? They, d- does you Detroit give everybody free cars uh, or what? No, they don't. Chrysler? But like you, you had like a you had like a little rental car waiting for you. But at the rink, like you didn't have to go get it yourself. So like it's like at the rink, like when you arrive, like hey, here's your car. You can use it for us. That's kind of cool. Oh really? How what far away do you live from the rink? Uh, about eight hours. Hopefully <laughs> eight hours. <laughs> Twenty minutes. <laughs> Six minutes. We're in, in Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. They live stay. in Toronto. We're way in the yeah, we live in Toronto. No, they, 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 no, they live at what's his name's parents' house. I mean, shit. <laughs> How far away? Forty minutes? No, twenty. Oh, okay. Su- super lucky. It's like a uh, they're Clayton. <laughs> I we commute from away. Toronto. <laughs> no, it's like it's like <laughs> Windsor. It's like, I know. It's like they're Clayton. So it's like I super dare nice. you go to Windsor. No, it that. is nice. Yeah, it's very nice. I Super dare nice. you to go to Windsor. It. Detroit has gets a bad rap from that. Just like St. Yeah. Louis gets a bad rap. Yeah. Detroit has hey, a bad rap because it has a yeah, bad rap. Your teammates in Detroit probably think St. Louis is a shithole. You oh, yeah. have to tell them. Oh yeah. Oh, they're both shitholes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell them. I'll, I'll show them when, when we get there next season. I'll I'll tell them we're, we're gonna oh, yeah. have some fun. But they love you up there. Hey, you're man, gonna have yeah. that video tribute. Fuck it, Sonny, Sonny, fucking right. Yeah. They're gonna have Sonny. I told I told I told Pinky the other day. I was like, hey, the only thing I've Expecting from you is when I come back, I only need those one of those shitty tributes that you gave Dunn and those guys. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh you don't you want, want one. a real one. You're gonna get yeah. one. You're gonna get one. You'll get one. No, yes, yeah. you should. I'll people go, dude. People were fucking losing their minds about that. Even when they knew they needed a defenseman, they lost. Yeah, they yeah, loved. They were like, what? They love Sonny? you. Well, he's kind of like. So you know. But you know what? Army's good at what he's done. He is. Done he, he's he is, like, he's awesome. Too. He's been good. Like, yeah. he, he's. And so you said you said he called you back though. Yeah, he did. He we we talked for. Did he say thank you for everything you like did? We, we talked for like forty minutes. Thank you for being a warrior. really yeah. So like he 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 like we talked about all different kinds of stuff. Like I I I, I got to say thank you to him like for 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 believing in me yeah. and for like for everything. Uh, I love for everything that, he, he did for me and like because uh, I I mean like he he believed in me when when I mean my first year here wasn't great and like he he resigned me to another. Another year and he believing did. in me, and that's that's when we won the cup. So it's like he kind of he kind of kickstarted my my career. So Saw the future, homie. Yeah. So, so but we had, we had a really good talk. He, I mean, like I said too, uh, he he's gonna continue building a a really strong team. St. Louis team for for years. Oh yeah. And they might be going against you. Yeah. Next yeah. Couple yeah. Of years. You guys are, be, you guys are fucking fast I mean, like, and I, tough. I man. see like him like one of the best GMs in in the league. There's no question. Yeah. Uh, he's really he's good. He, he's a uh, he's a uh, hard ass, but he's very yeah. very good at his job. He's intimidating, eh? He, he is, dude. That's five. another one. Yeah, that's another one. Well, he, like he, he scares guys when they when they walk when he walks. Yeah, in he, does. Yeah. he does. He does. But yeah. at the same time, like I, I feel like that's how a GM should be. You I, know? That's exactly right. That's Damn how right. she, like him. It's the like same with Iserman. Like he, yeah. people yep. get scared. Like kind of when he walks you in, don't like, like, you don't want these guys working for him. Like fuck, yeah, you, you don't yeah. want these guys coming and being your best friend and whatever. It's like hi, I'm Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> hi, hi. How are you guys? How's, did you win your fantasy how, football game? How's everything game? going? I like that Mickey Mouse shirt. <laughs> no fucking army's like, what's up? Here's what the fuck we gotta do. <laughs> yeah, I love that I shit. Know. Stevie Y. Iserman, goddamn You're right. So yeah. right. And there's a bunch of guys like that. None of you the best, homie. Like Lou, so you know. Is Lou's buddy? Oh, is he buddies? Lou walks in. I'm like, ah, help me, Lou Lamarillo. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I, I was super scared of like my like I was waiting in, in Detroit for my exit meeting going on. Like, okay, he's like, okay, you. you What'd they tell you? You'll be here and like, uh, they like, say we like your game. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll come to that. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I was given a time and I was like, I was at the rink at that time, kind of like these meetings just. They were like, oh, sorry, these meetings are really dragging out. Like, it's like, I wait for another, like, hour. Oh, and it's God. like, 
I was like, you're just getting more nervous. Then you're like, oh, like he's really roasting people here or something. So finally, like they're like calling me up and like someone takes me up to his office and it was like, oh, Sonny, it's like, this is going to be super short. Like I, I love what you brought to this, our team. And like, like we talked a little bit about the summer and like my plans and like with the surgery and all that stuff and like what to expect. Uh, I mean, he, he, he have very, very high expectations of from everybody mm -hmm. and like he i mean you you see that he you can sense that he's like a successful gm yeah like how he how he talks to you like how he talks about his plans kind of and and stuff like that and like he he were very upstright with me with the coaches too like he, he doesn't know uh yet who, who to get and like what what to bring and like he he said the same thing with the free agency he goes I would love to get a few players, but free agency are crazy, and like most of them resign right before it. Yeah. So the guys you want are gone already. It's mm -hmm. like he is very, he was very upfront with me, and but at the same time, like like you can see his his goals, so like what he wants, and it's a good feeling. He, yeah, like, he, I'm gonna work for you. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, yeah. He, 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 he's a very these guys are like next level, they're like they're Army, they're yeah. Stevie they're Y. They're, yeah, they're just everybody they're else ahead. is chasing, you know. Yeah. 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 They think a step ahead of everybody yeah. else, but they're just in control. They are completely in like, control. They have a, they have a plan and they follow it, and they don't yeah. give a shit what anyone thinks about it. Yeah, yeah. Right. and yeah. they'll deal with whatever yeah. raft. Like, they, people were pissed that like, they fucking traded you. Yeah, like they fucking were pissed. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I remember going. I'm like, <gasps> it's but, like no but shit. But you know what? See, this is the thing though about Army and Stevie White. Like Army is. They understand they're not like it's not all about winning the trade. It's like okay, yeah, you're gonna give us a good player. We got to give you a good player back. You know, it's not just like... God, you look really tan right now not for trying some to fucking reason. Well, I've been in... Yeah. Do, do I? you go tanny? No, I've been outside, though. Soccer games. You look dark. Do I? You were fucking tanning, didn't you? Cloudy didn't for less weeks. Been tanning, dude. I didn't go tanning. You went tanning. Where'd you, did you go on vacation? No, I look I, so tan? I, this past weekend, I was outside a lot. And I hang out outside. Doing what? Soccer games, baseball games, hockey games, right inside. Oh, you went tanning, dude. Never been tanning, dude. It's very, very excited for the MLS team, though, here. Are you? Oh, are you? Yeah. I mean, no, not? I am, too. Yeah, Thank I'll you. watch it. I'll watch it. Yeah. I'll watch it. I mean, I, th I think it's going to be great for downtown here, too. 100%. Getting all this he's bars like this and stuff. Like he's like, he's got his fucking house. He's got season tickets for the MLS. He's ready to go. I wa I'll watch it. I just I, gotta, I don't know if this is going to be a spoiler, though, but I kind of got the, got a player here. Like oh, did you? In Germany to come Ooh, that other guy you're talking about? Sweden. Sweden. No, it's, it's it's he's from Sweden, but he plays in Germany. Cool uh, guy. Uh, Does he party? I mean, he 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 was he was kind of like he was kind of like me the first time I got here. Like his wife was like, "Oh, it's Perfect. scary city." Like I don't know if we want to sign here. Oh, really? Uh, no, you man. tell him. Is he gonna so, rent your house? So I, I talked to him. Me and both me and Steen talked to him, and like oh, Steen knows him too. Well, we we got the numbers from uh, from the GM of the. Uh, the St. Louis team, the yeah. soccer team. Yeah. So like we were, we got the number. Like, hey, like, can you call and like convince this guy? Like he, we, we, it's close for him to sign. Kind of like he just needs to feel. Yeah. Hey, you're still safe. in the U.S. and you're in the Midwest Dude. and things are cheap here and you're in a fucking. Do you know how spot. serious Steiner takes the soccer? Yeah. Were you on the yeah. team when they were like dressing out in full like uniforms for the pregame soccer games? Oh, they know. would like pick their country and like they'd. <laughs> Like jersey shorts, socks, and they like. Dude. Hey, listen, can I say something real quick? I don't mean to be a, uh, you know, whatever. But the soccer fans mm -hmm. are tougher than the soccer players, mm -hmm. and that's the only sport where that's really the case. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Although, you know those hardcore guys, those fucking hooligans over hey, there, yeah. they'll fight each other. Let me say oh, this yeah. about you though, dude. Like you, I've never seen a player improve more from one year to the next. Oh my god, yeah. Like Very, your first year, job, Andy. yep. Like, and then all of a sudden, the second year becoming like. I mean, what what happened there? Like, what was the biggest difference? Like Sam Wilson. <laughs> I mean, I, I I said that to uh, to to Armin in, in in and I think it was Mike Joe at the time, like the the exit meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, my first year, I mean, I I think my my last my last ten games that year was like when I really started playing good, mm -hmm. and I I kind of told him at the at the exit, I was like. Like I, my last ten games, I felt like I really started playing it, and they like interrupted me, kind of like, yeah, like we agree. It was like because I got this, I got like my mindset was like, fuck you guys, like I'm just gonna 
I don't care if I screw up. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm just, I'm just going to do my own thing. Go, do your thing. go oh, play, me. man. And that's, yeah, you got to be free. And, and that's what, that's what I kept the whole, the whole next year. And that's, that's kind of like, how, yeah, it was shit. like, I was right. like, suck you guys. Tie that too, by the way. I will. My little guy. God damn. Yeah. My little guy. Yeah, go fucking do your shit. But it's like hard because it's like, do you, does he want to be Swedish or does he want to be like. He needs to be a mixture of everything. Yeah, because he's <laughs> kind of like a little bit of mix. Yeah. We got a lot That's what Sonny is. Sonny's yeah. a fucking. Yeah. That's American. Sonny's the man. Yeah. Out, baby. Hey, we're watching you next year, man. We can't wait to see you come back here. Everybody's rooting for you. You got, you got a long career ahead of you, dude. So, you know, we're, we're, we can't thank you enough for coming in here. Have a nice this. fucking place in Detroit. Kick your goddamn feet up. Hey, enjoy those restaurants. Maybe check out Windsor. Windsor. <laughs> Tell everybody say, Enjoy hey, those restaurants. <laughs> You're the man, home. And, and Detroit's going to be good to, before too long, too, man. Uh, yeah, I'm It'll very, I'm very excited about that. Like you can just look through the roster and like how young and like talented they are. It's crazy. Yeah. It's, 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 it's more just learning to play the right way and learning to sustain well, it for a full season. You know and, what the and, fuck and, to do. And my guess, leader. my guess is they're going to get a a I don't want to say under the radar coach, but it's going to be a younger coach. It's not going to be one of these coaches that are commanding like 5 million dollars yeah. a year. Yeah. It's based on where you guys are at as an organization. They they're, they're going to want a coach who can help develop some of these young guys yeah. and whatever before they try to hit the home run on the guy you. that's going to get them they over the top. S- yeah. I, yeah, it'll yeah. be one of those. Like, three like they, they're kind of, not going after Barry Trotz or Torts. You know what I'm saying? You need to be a fucking, just be a leader. Be a yeah. fucking leader. Be the fucking man, homie. Right. <laughs> yeah. He's the, the next man. great Swede in Detroit. God damn. Again, let the people in Detroit know what they're getting. They're getting a shit kicker okay. that works his fucking ass off. <laughs> He's got a fucking hair flowing in a goddamn wind. <laughs> yeah, baby. And hey, the women folk can be yeah. all over you. Sunny girls Christmas. can be yeah. pissy about that. Great to see you, bro. Yeah, thank Love you, guys. Thank you for having me. It's awesome. The Camastrick Podcast is brought to you by Bellman. And Bellman.com, B-E-H-L-M-A-N-N.com. Get out there, Detroit, Missouri. Check it out on one side. You got the Buick, the GMC. Options for everybody. Then right across the street, you got the Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Again, find something that works for you. And get yourself a new set of wheels in time for the summer. Yeah. All right, that was Oscar Sunquist, baby. True Blue Great career. Yeah, like, Coach loves him. Teammates love him. Fans love him. He's coming to playoff games. And um, the Detroit Red Wing fans, if you don't already, man, you're going to love this guy. And he's a, he's a good fit for those young guys, yeah, too, yeah. man, because he can fit in. He's that guy in the locker room that'll hang out with a 22-year-old yeah. or hang out with yeah. a 32-year-old. You he's, know what I'm he's the kind of guy that I would be connected with in the locker room, for sure. Yeah, me too. I bet, Probably. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Probably like, well, we fucking day, man. <laughs> you know, and all the, who, who wants to go out? Like, I don't care. Yeah, he would never say no. That's what I mean. It's like I never said no. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, he would be my partner. Yeah, yeah. For sure. He'd yeah. be my willing partner, man. He's got some people. He Listen, he loves that Larkin, that Dylan Larkin, man. Yeah. He sounds cool like as him. shit. Mark Stahl. Uh, those are guys that he hangs out with, man. But you know what? Yeah, Stahlsy. But I will say this. You go from the Blues to another team, you quickly realize. Like like the Blues team, like they hang out together, man. Yeah, that's true. They you know do. what I mean? Yeah, I heard And that. there's something to be said for that. All of a sudden, you go to another team, you realize, hey, man, everyone's kind of goes their separate ways. Were you in a cover of a fancy-ass magazine? Yes, I day? was. What was that? Uh, there's like Clayton Magazine, and then there's a Chesterfield Magazine, and there's a St. Charles Magazine, and we were which on one, a, Which uh, one was it? All three of them. Oh, fuck it. On the sick. cover. On the what cover. were they saying? What was the article about? <laughs> it was like about men. <laughs> it was for Father's Day, the, the June edition. They had you on there yeah. to talk about yeah. men. No, I, I, we didn't talk about that. Were well, they like this? Uh, no, these are the manly men like their, from a fucking. It was like their men's issue. So it was about like Father's Day and like men in the city who were like doing their thing. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it's just like whatever. Let me tell you about being a man. But dude, how the photos look? You look good. You look good in pictures, man. You do. Not going to lie to you. So I the, mean, you need to build up your fucking well, body a little bit. Oh, I think I might I'm be going dead. back to the gym. We'll see. Because you're, you're, your shoulders and your arms but are very delicate it's looking. like they, they had like uh, people like doing things who like in the community. Like some, What are you doing in the community? I'm like uh, some media, whatever. Mm-hmm. Some people who will own like big you know, CEOs. So the women And they would you? just ask them like a question, like a quote about like the city. And you say like, here's my quote about the city. Well, they ask about the city. Like the no, fucking say, gun like, crime you, is god awful. No, they say like, what do you like about St. Louis? Well, I like when I go downtown and not die. Mm. Did you say that? No, I didn't say that. Oh, okay. Is that I what? like going downtown and like having my car not be broken into when I come back. I didn't say that. You didn't say that. No, you probably should have. Yeah, did I you pump up the city? Like, what are you saying? Uh, listen, I'll tell you what I like, said. Like, thank God for our sports team, or there would be nothing downtown. <laughs> did you say that? <laughs> God. 
No, I didn't I say mean, that look, either. I, I just talked about I love like, St. Louis. I've spent a lot of money here. I stay I, here. I, said, I get it. I still live 45 listen, minutes away. I said that there is a lot going on here that people don't realize, man. There's a lot of young, up-and-coming entrepreneurs. That's true. There's a lot of young, up-and-coming artists. There's some great restaurants. There's, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, but that's everywhere. So okay. what are you saying differently, But I'm dude? just saying, so like St. Louis has a lot to offer, man. Go out there and explore really. and like check it out. No, it doesn't. Well, whatever. But, but you're, you're lying. Well, it's for the magazine. You're lying you want to me people. To say, like, you're saying, come to St. Louis and do things. And then they go down, they get robbed, and there's desolate. And they go down, no, no, no. They go downtown, and they have a, they spill mustard on their shirt. Mm -hmm. And they're like, let me go buy a new shirt. Oh, yeah? Where are you going to go? Well, you don't no, do no, that no. downtown. Where, where are you going to go? You don't do that downtown. Well, you don't have you don't even have a store to go to in a fifteen mile radius from downtown to go get a shirt. Where? Saks Fifth Avenue. Where? Where's that at? Plaza Front. Twenty end. minutes away down Highway Forty. What the fuck are you Nordstrom. talking about? Where? Ten minutes. At the no, it's, it's out of the city. Is my point. If you're a bush, nobody State, goes in the city. city. We all know Why that. Is that. We all know. Well, I'm just we like, all know you the keep city. kissing it. Like, leave, like, be realistic. People are going to read that magazine, and they're going to be like, oh, yay. Yeah, but like. Ugh, I can go downtown. Okay, but the but the magazine centers on Clayton, Chesterfield, and St. Charles. Oh, yeah. It's okay. not on the city. Well, then, then, okay. So, and Clayton has great restaurants. Yes, it does. And they've got. Central West End, though. You didn't say Central West End, did you? Because that is getting shitty. No, but they've got some good spots, though. Oh, the ones that I aren't open anymore? In a while. No, actually, I was just down there. I had to go to that Lululemon for my wife to pick something up from a friend of hers. Who is the manager down people there? People are moving out of Central West End as fast as you could fucking but imagine. I know some people that live there, and like, there's some great homes out there, man. I know some people that live there, and they still enjoy living there. <laughs> I think we've gotten through they, some of that. You are crazy. Yeah, go buy a home in Central West End and see where your property's at. Right now. <laughs> you can, yeah, you own that. You if don't you know, you, though. what are you talking about? You haven't been there in forever. Listen, dude, look at the property value. There came and giveaway no, homes get, over there. I no get, one's buying get, in Central West End. But you know what? There's, there's businesses. People are still thriving with business. Not really. Can there's a lot of like all the Not hospitals really. and doctors and stuff that they're all going out to lunch and eating dinner and stuff out there. It is way worse than it was 10 years ago. What are you talking about? I'm not going to disagree, but I'm still saying like... It's still livable. There's a lot of people who work in that area that go to lunch. It just and sucks. Go, go there on like a one, at, at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, well, that's the only time you want to go there. I'm just saying there's a people everywhere, dude. Like you have no idea because you don't know. You're right. I have no idea. I but have no idea. What's but going I'm on. but I'm telling you, there are people out and about. Head on a swivel. Would I walk around? Head on a swivel. At three in the morning by myself. Fuck, fucking no. Especially so you by that. yourself. But at, fucking... but, at, but at noon. At noon during fine. the week. Dude, I know, but I like to walk around fountains, anytime I want. And not worry. There's water like, you fountains know, and there's you know you're fine. St. Louis is going to be okay because of the trifecta. You got Bush Stadium, you got Enterprise Center, and now you got the soccer stadium. And they're going to build it all up, and yeah. hopefully there's enough security yeah. where it's going to be okay. But, but anytime you build yeah. up something in St. Louis, something else decays. Yeah. Meaning Washington Avenue. Go to Washington Avenue. Remember, yeah. that used to be our party mm -hmm. spot, mm -hmm. wheeling chicks out of the mug, yeah. left and right. And then the fucking shootings happened. Yeah. And and now those all those business, all those losses that they sold for like 900000 not one person in mm -hmm. them. So check out the, the magazine. I'm on the cover. Okay. You look, man. You always look good, and and and, and you like a good. You got a good teeth. I was stuff. on there with a guy who's like a world renowned like saxophonist, dude. He plays at the White House, plays all over the world, dude, as a saxophone. Cool. And then the other guy is like the president of like uh, Ascension, like those hospitals that are all over the world, basically. Yeah, that must have been a party. He runs. Well, then they had a bunch of other people inside the magazine. I'm talking about the cover. Who oh, was yeah, on the cover? Um, yeah, I had a cigar in my hand for one of the pictures. It looked him. way too big for those little <laughs> hands of yours. You need to get the little dinky Virginia Slims. Oh, yeah. Seriously. I used to buy those for the, uh, the girl that I, I worked for. I used to steal those from the, uh, my neighbors. I mom. worked at a pharmacist. I delivered, I delivered pills, dude. Like, oh, really? When I was in high school. Oh, that's a gig right oh, there. I would have sold those. It was much. the best job ever. Give me them Oxycontins, please. I'll, oh. I'll, and how does that work, dude? And then the guy who owned boxing? the pharmacy, like one, there was like two pharmacists. They were brothers, and one of them ended up like never like going to pharmacy school, and like and didn't even have a license, dude, or something. Like, and he you couldn't, have, pills, so he babe. couldn't come back to the pharmacy. But the other guy still continued to run it, and so I would deliver. In their delivery car, it said like Forum Center Pharmacy on the side. So of would it. you go to old? Oh women? yeah, and would you look at their script and be like, oh, those are they would like, will you help me with my eye drops? So I would like put their eye drops in, like not always. But did you look at their pills and say, Ooh. I wasn't as educated on that, and oh, I never got man. into like, I never got into those. 
Yeah, I know you didn't because you never got hurt. Oh, I had some injuries. Oh, I bet you Broke didn't. my ankle one time. Yeah, had to get stitches crazy. in my face once. Crazy. Crazy talk. <laughs> crazy talk. I remember tough. the first time I got stitches. Mm. 12 years old. My daddy was there with me. Hold my hand. Get him in my oh, fucking you're face. Such a wuss, dude. It's 12 years old. I had to look at my I got railroad tracks on my. Look I had. Mine. Andy. Yeah, look at mine. Andy. I took an ice skate to my face one time, too. And I got skated on my arm by the referee. We all have. That? We yeah. all have. The doctor came and looked at it. Getting stitches the game. in your face at 12 years old, getting 40 in your chin. It's a, it's a, it's a wake up call. Mm-hmm. And How'd, what'd you I, do? I, I took a stick from Josh Elzinga, who is on. Uh, with AJ Galante and mm-hmm. that uh, documentary. Oh, in tw- twelve years old. Josh Elzinga played for CYA. Okay, he I told me C- that story. And he st- he had a east and aluminum, and yeah. he didn't he didn't tape yeah. the end of it, and he caught me. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So that was uh, Oscar Sunquist, man. We got more stuff for you. again. We go all year round, dude, on the Camistry podcast. Oh yeah. So we've we got blow you, up in this. We got you taken care of all <laughs> summer long. Hope people enjoyed Mark Messier last week too. Man, right. a lot of great feedback from from Mess. Um, people are like, how come you didn't ask about Madonna? I'm like, I don't man, know, man. Because like, Madonna fucked married. everybody. Okay, oh. like all y'all. Oh, Madonna. Uh, she fucked everybody. So it's not even that cool. Everybody was dipping into that. Settle down. You so what do you banged her? You don't her? know that. Oh, Jesus. You don't know everybody. You don't she know was, everybody. You, you, know, you know nothing about Madonna. She was Madonna. getting banged out by every Jason motherfucker. Jason Spezza doesn't even know you. <laughs> okay? You didn't bang Madonna. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> you don't think? <laughs> Fuck no. He could have banged so much pussy. He was just kind of like. <laughs> I don't think you can say that. I don't, you keep saying that. What do you mean? You I didn't say he word. did. No. no. You keep pussy? talking. Yeah, I don't know oh, if you whatever. say that. We love the females. We love you. I'm going to go home and put them roller blades on a toe drag, all kinds of y'all. But the point is, Jason Spezza was a handsome dude. Mm -hmm. He had a million bucks, but he wasn't into that. Like, he wasn't. There's certain guys that weren't in the chase and tail. Yeah. And I respect that. Mm -hmm. Because you're one of them. They were focused. You're one of them. (laughs) They were focused on hockey. (laughs) Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was focused on hockey. Yeah. Meanwhile, the rest of us Mm -hmm. were focused on hockey and that. But just think if you focused solely on hockey, you know. Somebody asked me that the other day. What do you regret the most? Lack of working out, did it? I go, I worked my motherfucking ass off. I worked hard on anybody. Mm-hmm. I forced guys like, you know, who to come train with us, yeah, Patty yeah, and all them motherfuckers. Yeah. And, the, but I, I answered like, the painkillers got me, homie. Mm-hmm. They got me. And I spent a ton of money. My wife's, I'm lucky my wife stuck by me with this whole thing because it was hard. But if I would have done that, I would, are you wrapping me up? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, we gotta, you got to go for something? I now I get into deep into something, <laughs> and you want me to wrap up? Meanwhile, like the listeners kind of like hearing when I talk about I that. Know, so you, I'm sorry, are you busy? <laughs> no. Are you busy? Gotta, you want me to, I'm sorry, I'm gotta, talking about like my wife leaving me. Up time it's from, always about you. Lacrosse camp. Andy thinks his world is more important than anybody else's, and it's Dude, God, the most boring gotta, shit ever. i got to pick up Ty from Jesus lacrosse camp. Fucking I go. can go get him and come back, and we can continue Fuck, no. I'd like to see him. It's only five minutes away. He's probably got a lot of my stuff. He's wearing it. Because you, the stuff that you gave me, you probably gave to Ty. And actually, I don't mind that. But if you fucking <laughs> so wear it, dude, that's your biggest regret, right? That, that's, that's is that a okay? Good Can one. I talk that's about? Is one. that all right? Well, well, What's let's, your? Let's talk more about you. Yeah, let's talk more about you, Andy. I wish. Tell me more about you. My biggest and your regret. Upbringing. What? <laughs> what? Like, no, no regrets. No, he needed dude. a fucking daddy no. around. Yeah, no regrets. Well, well you just got to find a way, dude. Yeah, you did. Gave me mental and, and I know. inner strength, man. I'm stronger than most. Uh, you're right. Because of that. And I brag about you to people. Yeah. I truly yeah. do. Yeah. But you cut me it. off there, I, I and found, I didn't I, like I, it. I found a great wife, dude. Yeah, you did. She's a badass biatch. You got good kids. Awesome. Cutest yeah. family in the world. Yeah. I like your family more yeah. than you. But the pills, dude, that is your biggest regret, and I think that's a great oh, answer. And we're going to continue so, okay. that right, next cool. time. Thanks, and we're going to talk about that on in the intro, you. too. You okay. brought that up, and I and I was like, did somebody yeah. ask me that? And well, I'm like, I'm that glad. motherfucking no. tells I didn't 100%. Know. Well, I wouldn't have brought it up if I knew we were going to have well, another thought, 25 minutes. Because I always talk about partying, and I'm like, God damn, no, I, I work well, so my ass off. that's what your regret is. You party too much. No. No, oh. it was just getting addicted to that. Yeah. Because you can't get off it. Like, I, I could stop. Dude, I was up every... Dude, I worked my ass off. I know. But those little white things. Well, got listen, you 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 got through it now, right? You know, you got I'm still a disaster. Oh, well, that's true. You know, in ways and yeah. stuff. Okay. Yeah. Anything, but that. anything else you want to <laughs> add? Or? No, let's talk about you. <laughs> More about you and your your drive, okay. like your work that you used to do, and all yeah, those hardcore okay. games and, and the, shit. That time you wrote that story, and uh, that time you wrote that story about that guy, <laughs> and then and then nothing. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Listen, man. Uh, hair club, dude. I yeah. talk about hair club real quick. Well, you need it. 
I need it. Mm-hmm. I did need it. Yeah. I need it now still. But I got it done. It was an easy process. There's all kinds of different locations. All you have to do is walk into goddamn doors. I'm yeah. telling you guys. Yeah. I know you're looking at yourself in the mirror right now like, motherfucker. Yes. I want to go out. I'm going to talk to this dying. Yeah. She's, she, she, you know when you're losing your hair. Let me tell all y'all something. Because when you talk to people, they look at you. They look at that spot. Mm-hmm. They see your receding hair. They know it. They know it. Mm-hmm. And you know that they mm-hmm. know it. Could you it, imagine having that and having your car not start at the same time? Oh, you ain't getting none. <laughs> So You're, uh, hairclub.com, 800-279-7878. Yeah. Just go through the door, yeah. call them yeah, up, yeah, and yeah. just walk yeah. in and be like, "I'm." everybody understands. Yeah. You're not embarrassed. Don't be, you know what's embarrassing? Replace, restore, not having hair. and regrow. Yes. And and uh, again, check out our landing page, hairclub.com slash cam and strick. Just go there. And everything's all good. Easy and peasy. Sign it's- up for your first consultation from there. You're going to get $250 off. All right. Car Shield and carshield.com, 800-857-2481. Get that protection. Get it today. Use that promo code CAM, baby. Yeah. It'll save you 10%. DM me if you need any help with any additional percentages. Like what? Or something like oh, that. I like help them with, like, start yeah. their car? Well, maybe something like that, too. Uh, Zero Carb Life Pizza, baby. It's guilt-free. Check it out. Go to their website. Use that promo code CAM and Strick. You'll save 15%. It's uh, only chicken-based crust. Oh my that God. is truly no sugars, carbs, and gluten-free. I am fucking starving. It's chicken-based. Oh, God. Isn't that amazing? I know. And you could doll it up all you want, man. Like, yeah. You want to fucking put some fat-ass yeah. veggies on that chicken mug? Chicken-based. You want to put some yeah. fat-ass meat on it? They have two flavors, beef crumble and a buffalo sauce. Oh. Yeah, man, so, I'm hungry, homie. Yeah, you can I get really just am. the crust. Use my own personal uh, suggestion on how to make it. Okay, use my own. Listen, 500 degrees. Put some olive oil they, under that. People know. Okay. Jesus Christ. That is let no, make know. it uh, cook pizza low and slow. No, that, don't do that. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, don't do that. Um, and then of course Mars Blade. Yeah, man. Toe drag cakes. Yep. That's what it is. Yeah, Mars That's the Blade. hashtag. MarsBlade.com. Check it out. All the Swedes are doing it, and a lot of North Americans, too, including Austin Matthews. Cam says he may have played in the first round with Roller Blades on, but I don't think that's true. I don't know. He's he kind of looked he like gave no, he's, I know he did. I, he's I, fucking listen, awesome. Listen, I joke about stuff yes. on here, yeah. and if you listen to it, we have our cult following. Yeah. People that want to listen, they listen, yeah. and so they know where I'm at. Bellman.com. Dale Kenny. Um, uh, da- Danny boy, of Danny course. boy, what up, Danny boy? What's up, baby? Buick GMC, they will buy your car. Everybody gets approved, by the way. If you have credit issues, don't worry about the credit. Man, Everybody's approved. Yep. Troy, Missouri, Buick GMC, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Camastrick.com. Check out all our social media: Instagram, Twitter. Follow our personal stuff. Yeah. You could follow us, uh, our podcast channels as well, uh, Facebook, everywhere, dude. Camastrick.com if you want to check out any old episodes too. We have it on there as well. Yeah, man. Ch- okay. Follow us all and, and, and DM us. Yeah. Everything's open. You want to yeah. ask me questions, man? I get back to you. I do. I got a lot of stuff going on. Although today. Billy Tibbetts won't leave me alone. Oh, yeah, he listens well, every. Yeah. And he said that we were we were pussies against Messier. Oh. Yeah, well. Oh, he's got some stories. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll give you a little shout he out, Billy. Come on and share some. But he, he, well, he said he don't, he don't trust you. Okay. Oh, really? Mm-mm. Okay. So he doesn't trust media. <laughs> so he is said, he? Is he like a... He was a tough guy. Oh, good player. But he doesn't trust day. media. Okay. Yeah. Well, then don't come on. Then. I'm just saying. That's what he said. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Billy I Tibbetts. I didn't know that was a player. Okay. Oh, I'm well, he's going to be all over me now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Billy, get his ass, dude. Right. Get he, his ass. He messages me, too. I know. He's fucking funny, man. He's crazy. All right. Well, We're all I, cr- we like people who are crazy. I know. Come on. Come Billy, on, Billy. Billy Tibbetts. Oh, he's going to get you, boy. Tibbetts. Oh. Tibbetts. He's going to get you. <laughs> he's going to get his good old Boston boy right there. <laughs> it's all good. He goes, all right. you pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks go, for listening. I think you're right. I go, on the Cam and Strict right, Podcast, you guys. baby.